Bye. There we are. We're here. Hello, Hi guys. everyone. Jody's having an existential Ooh. crisis already about her hair, even though it <laughs> consistently, consistently always looks better than mine. Always. No, it's I have not got it done in months. It's normally blonde, and I look like I have dark brown hair right now because it's just that bad. Yeah, but about, listen, about there. couple weeks, I'll do my uh, biannual haircut that is well i'm sure everyone expensive. will be so relieved i'm sure that's all anyone can focus on right now uh, probably like, God, how are you guys all doing we have a lot a lot of people waiting for us there happy sunday it's happy sister wife sunday i know i'm so, so excited migraine because it's snowing but it's okay oh, uh, see we're gonna get that tomorrow we always get you uh, day after yeah i need to go get that prescription that I get the script my scripts will be coming in the on Monday scripts are coming on Tuesday <laughs> can you hear me okay I might need to move this mic a little yeah, closer yeah you look great you look and sound uh, amazing <laughs> okay uh what do we got here got a couple got a couple Nick just sent us a movie Nick come on this is terrible timing for you to send us content when you're when you're on when you never actually jump on the chat okay uh what do i got here what do i got what do i got we got well i guess we should talk about this on the actual thing but this is what we're going to be doing we're going to start out the episode obviously with a shot is anyone drinking with us at 12 30 on a sunday i know i know <laughs> um but ron and daphne came over and i made them breakfast and Such i was daughter. like i couldn't eat anything but i i made a quiche asparagus turkey and swiss quiche and then i made oh. banana parfait how about that and what's your banana parfait consist of oh it was just like one of those like yogurt banana like, super easy ones yeah well actually i used um you have to use french vanilla pudding and i use sheriff brand just to spite you just rubbing <laughs> it in rubbing it in yeah one that day, and the lady fingers her. and uh pea sautés with pea, pea, beef sautéed with peas and onions and then uh, that's from friends. That's from friends. It's when Rachel makes a trifle and she gets the pages stuck together. Oh, you together. don't really have it. No, no, no. Oh, this okay. is just like vanilla or uh, French, uh, yeah, French vanilla bananas, okay. and then whipped cream on top. My mom was so impressed, Amanda. She Ooh. had to take a picture for Auntie Kim. Oh boy! It's like, it's just, I'm like, it's just, the only thing impressive about this is that I like swirled the whipped cream. That's the only reason this even looks good. Did um, she post it on her Facebook page? Well, she sent no, she sent it to Auntie Kim and Auntie Twyla, though. Ah, okay. So okay. then we all got to so like the reason they came over was to watch Sister Wives, and that's what happened. And we were, this. I mean, God, I wish we could just like film me and my mom watching it. And oh, 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 so, oh, so sorry, guy, this guy, she just hates <laughs> I mean, I mean, guy, I love that. That's she's her like the perfect, per, like, example of a person watching sister wives like for oh the I, first love time. I love it i love it so uh, uh so but we're gonna start out the episode when we actually go like live to our real episode we're gonna do a whole breakdown of the trailer because everyone's been asking about that and it was the biggest thing to happen to my life maybe all year Ooh, okay i haven't looked at all of the previews or i don't know what i've seen oh i just mean that whole like two minute long trailer like where okay. you see everything I have you not seen it um, I didn't see something with Truly and Christine. I stopped myself. I didn't want to watch that. There's like some scene with Truly and Christine. It was the mid-season trailer, though. It wasn't like a preview. Okay. It was a mid-season okay. trailer. Trailer. Okay, so well, hold we're on. We're jumping ahead here. Mid-season. Does that mean we have like I another... I thought it's were. Eight to ten If this episodes? is episode seven, then they should be up. Oh, my God. <sighs> It's happening. Okay. Yeah, I know Daphne was going to stay and like come say hello, but then like the second it was like next time on Sister Wife, Daphne had her coat on, ready to go. Let's go. Oh, she's gotta go. Ron needs oh, she's her. Gotta go. Yeah, Ron. Or was Ron go. there? Oh, Ron, Ron was there. Oh, okay. Ron can't be left home alone. <laughs> so, Ron. But he enjoy he likes coming over. He likes my food. Found a way to mm. bond with him over food. Okay. How about that? Yeah. What are his comments about Cody? No, he didn't know much to say. Got nothing. He just, he hates sister wives. Mm. But I think we're getting him hooked. I mean, <laughs> how hooked. could you not? How could you not get hooked? Do the tell-alls count it ep as episodes? I don't know, but either way, like, God, I'm going to oh, miss nice. this show when it's done. I No, you can't put that out there. You can't put it out there. I know. We just have to enjoy what we're what we're given here. Did anyone else notice that when talking about the land, Robin referred to her lot in the past tense? <gasps> Something like, I like to come out here and sit 
on what was my lot. She oh. does say that. Oh, there's, you're going to hear Yikes. so much shit. Robin doesn't come off as that bad in this episode because they really are just focusing on Cody. But there's going to be a scene that you are, like, me and my mom burst out laughing. Ooh, and I okay. won't even tell you what good. it is. Oh, no, it was, like, hilarity. Okay. I feel like everyone knows what it is. Uh, if you know, you know. Um, okay. Uh, Kevin else? wants to know who's ready to get some massive loads of laundry done. <laughs> We're planning on going oh, four hours, baby. Oh, this is the other thing. And if anyone knows in the chat right now, because of course we started late and we never, we got some shit together, but we should have prepped this. There's apparently something that you guys can do where you can like tip us. That'd be cool. <laughs> I don't know what it's called. Super chat. Uh, super, yeah. No super, pressure. No pressure. Obviously no pressure. But hey, if you want, if we go four hours, you want to toss us a book? Great. Now, so if I mean, anyone knows that, how to do that. Oh, Tawny. What? I was thinking Twyla here. Sorry, Tawny. No, 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 no. I just got really excited. I saw a T, I saw a W, and I just got like very hyped up. Like that maybe the Auntie Twyla was oh, in Twy. the chat. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Kevin says you can send gifts to the channel. Great. Hopefully you can all navigate that. Oh, I'm sure you're all smarter me. than us. I see Justine is in the chat. Cody is legit a paranoid, oh, honey, paranoid schizophrenic, I swear. Mm. I don't know what he is, but a couple like there's a couple pretty rough stuff that he says this episode. Oh shot, like, God! Oh, like, okay, I'm, I'm super really excited. I'm, it's the equal up. dread of like I know I'm gonna get really angry, like that moment oh. where it's like going into your kid's room and you know it's a mess and you're like I'm gonna be fucking pissed and then you get in there and you're like no keep it all together. Keep no, it all I feel together. like when you watch Sister Wife, you should come ready to fight. Tia, thank you already tipped us. You you really Tia? don't. You do not have to do this, you guys. We will still love you. Beaker face is in full effect today, so she says. Sweet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Greetings from Austria. Sound of music. Oh yes, my gosh. Course. Wow. I want to go do like Christmas in the Europe. In the Europe. Why don't you just come up to Canada? In the Iraq and such as. Yeah, I could do that. Remember my mom last year, Carol. My mom, Carol. She yeah, went she to, uh, was that Quebec? Ordeal. Montreal. What's the super yeah. scenic -y looking? We were so icy. She went to PEI, I thought. New Brunswick? No, that was that was another trip. This was like last oh. week before Christmas. She went to Canada Win as well. Winter Pig? No, it's like the one where there's like the hotel that looks like a castle. And it's like almost like a little Christmas village looking thing. Oh, I'm pretty I sure that's think Canada Quebec. kind of looks like that. Thank you, Kristen Marie, for... A tip. Oh my God, wow. you guys are so sweet. Mm. I mean, this is me and Jody really do need the money. That we like, this will be used toward things that we need. Woo! Okay, so we have five, six minutes left. Anyone? Oh, Jody. do you have a shot? Oh, I, I, have, I got my Jack, my Jackie D's. Okay, you know, I always have my fireball. Quebec, yes. Okay, thank Oh, Ice Hotel. Oh, Ice Hotel. Hmm. So my mom, Carol. I need to find photos of her. Um, she has she looks exactly friend, like Carol. what you want her to look like. I'll find a picture. She's the you need to put up that lifeguard picture. Oh, Arizona do you have lifeguard? that on hand? You can add to the overlay right now. I'm if sure I probably can make that happen. My mom has a best friend, Carol, from childhood, and they go on all these seniors trips together. And it, so it's Carol and Carol. And I'm sure people think they're like, you know, the cutest old lesbian couple, but they're not. It's just adorable. And they wear, Aww. they get like matching jammies. Is that going to be um, us? Hopefully. Let's see. let's see if I can play one of Carol here. Oh, this was Carol. Land your nation. The, such big surfing, song Amanda. That? Love potion number Love nine. Love potion number nine. Okay. <laughs> Such big portions you could bring home half for lunch tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, lanyard. except I wouldn't be. Lanyard. She has her lanyard. Also, we got the Walter time. back there. Walter, stinky. Oh, I got Scout underneath here. She'll probably be in and out about 10 times. Most likely. Yeah. All right. Sorry about that. Uh, oh, my goodness. We only have five more minutes. It's exciting. Okay. Who's blowing up our group chat here? What's going on, Amanda? Huh, yeah, we're talking about the lanyard. Yeah. And it, she just has her her little car remote, her key fob, just saying <laughs> that's the only thing on it. It's adorable. Um, who is, who is drinking with us? Yeah. You can, you can be drinking. Oh, my no. name is blocking Walter. No, Walter's on this side. 
Oh, oh your name. Your name. Yeah, but it's there. not. It's it's on the other side. Unless mm -hmm. my screen is flipped. I don't care. I don't no, care. I'm that's excited okay. we got on here on, on time. Every every Sunday Ooh. I wake up and I just really want to, oh, I just want to get to watch those Sister Wives. And by the time yeah. I wake up, about 20 people have already messaged us saying like, oh, this is a good one. <sighs> oh, oh, who just asked me that? Let's see. Jennifer, Nana. Uh, oh, I got some Doris tea. I'll, I'll fill you in later. We got some Doris tea. Doris is... Oh. What? Oh, oh you're in this? Okay. Nail color, Amazon. Amazon, uh, whatever. It's like, you know, you get five colors for like $4. Uh, I know it's not the best, but hey. Ooh, mm. Lemoncello. Remember not, when Danny DeVito went on The View and he was wasted on Lemoncello? Ooh, what a thing. I would have the biggest hangover. It's so fucking sweet and sour. Mm, you have to sip it. You have to sip. I'm How trying. I, I, I have to sit over here for you guys to be able to see Walter here. Is that better? Yeah, there you go. Okay. Well, he's oh, not going to be doing sleeping. much other than that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got three minutes. <gasps> I've watched twice. Watched okay, twice. Yeah. Ooh, whiskey, whiskey and lemonade. lemonade. Interesting choice. I know. I'm like, I have both those things. I'm going to need to try that out. <laughs> Beaker face. Okay, hold on. This is great. <laughs> yeah. I'm preparing for today's six hour episode with. Also, Buko, that needs to roast at least four hours, babe. You know, right. Pam, in Spain, isn't it? Is In Spain, they don't even start eating dinner until midnight. <laughs> when in Rome. <laughs> when in Rome. <laughs> oh, ooh, thanks for this wine. This will be great for cooking. <laughs> great for cooking. I just like to come up here and smell my candles. <laughs> Fire on fire. Uh, isn't this the you... best when you just watch people say the lines from the office over and over again? It's the best. I think that sounds like a dream come true to me. All right, what are you drinking for your drink drink? Um, I made an iced coffee with some rum chata in it. And it, <gasps> before you say I don't like rum either, I'm not a rum girl, but it's right. delicious. And it's the perfect thing to add to coffee. Because it, it tastes like horchata. Horchata. You always okay, have that um, good Spanish accent. You should do that. Horchata. No, that, that was, no, that's Italian. I don't no, know. It was or... that song that we were going to play for an intro on one of our Patreon oh, uh, episodes. Uh, Cuando like, la Mera. Yeah, I was like, oh, what's the one? Like, oh, no, 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 no. And then you just came Cuando out. Cuando la Mera. Like, Rachel Cuando on la Mera. Real World 3. about a donkey. All right, let's get this kind of ready here. Are you handling this or do you want me to? I feel like it's going to go better if you do it. I can handle this, but we got we got another minute. Okay, Amanda, can we get a quick Teen Mom Amber impression? Yes, you need to do that. Oh, God, I'm out of practice here. Gary! Gary! <laughs> I want my Cracker Barrel when I'm at the hotel with Leah, okay, Gary? Any other impressions you guys want? <laughs> Leah! Stop Leah! Out the window, uh. In your diaper! Uh. What? what? Oh, that's a good one. That's a good yeah. one. That's okay, good one. really quick, do a Barb. Uh, Chalinski! With the Chalinski! I can do, well, Janelle, I saw you with Kiefer. You come in here, you steal my credit cards, you go all the way to New Jersey or wherever you're going, you waste my credit cards, and I know you were with Kiefer. You're out! You're out! You never look after the baby with Chase. Baby. Baby, Jody, oh, can you pretend it's Tuesday? Amber's mom, Tanya. Oh, you got this cucumber scary. Got my, my, my scripts are coming on Tuesday. Now, Tanya is actually very close to Tony. Country yeah, slide. he's got the bubble. He's got the bubble. Yep. I can't do it. Four thousand street talkers and choice letters kick. Oh, Be careful, yikes. you might get hit with a stick. <laughs> <laughs> you might get hit. Plastic. All, All right, right, let's start. So, uh, Ready? Let's let's roll this thing. Right, let me get my hair first. Right, oh yeah. Got got okay. my uh, got my hair tie ready. Ooh, okay, stand by, everyone. Stand by. Thank you, Nicole. Oh, all right. I'm going. Oh. Me. Welcome to We Love to Hate Everything. I'm Jody, and along with my long distance bestie Amanda, we live to break down all the things we love to hate. Each week, we scour TV, TikTok, and pop culture and deliver you our unfiltered, snarky takes on everything. 
Take a moment to subscribe on YouTube so you catch all our live streams and shows and follow the links in the banner to subscribe to our free weekly podcast and two Patreon shows, We Love to Hate TV and Total Request Podcast, where you request the shows and we break them down. Once subscribed, you have instant access to our massive library of hundreds of past shows and recaps. We promise you'll love it. And listen, we're all friends here, so let us hear from you in the comments. We love getting to know you, and we hope you enjoy the show. All right, let's go. Jody, you're leaving me hanging there. All right, there you are. Hello. Welcome, everyone. To- show now. Yeah, she's done it before. We love to hate everything, and thank you. Um- <laughs> So much happened just during that. Nicole gave us a uh, 1999 tip for the barb impression. How about that? Oh, I love that. More of that. More. More, Gail. More, 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 more. <laughs> Jenea said, uh, you guys should do some vintage teen mom. Now, guys, we're in talks of what we're going to do after this is over. Uh, sister wives. And I think teen mom might be our best bet. Just some old vintage shit. Because mm-hmm. I lost a bunch of my episodes, as we all know. Uh, if you want to hear about that, you well, if you know, you know. Mm-hmm. So thank you, everyone, for being supportive and giving us tips. Oh, it's great. Yes. Oh, naranjo. Isn't that uh, orange in Espanol? Katie, thank you. And oh. where is producer Latrice? Latrice, Treasy. Latrice Royale. Right. Careful what you wish for here, Katie, because Yeah, uh, I know you might it's gonna, she's gonna hit the microphone and everything's gonna just turn off. It's and then I'll leave be, Jody hanging like she does to me every week. Butthole akimbo. It's her <laughs> favorite thing. Yeah. So we'll probably go back to anyway doing some old uh, teen mom episodes. Yeah. Dust off the old Dabs impression again. Honestly, that oh, what was it? Marriage boot camp, family boot camp. With uh, Matt yeah. and Amber. That was a classic. Oh, it's good. Yeah, Those you got good a good life. Days. It's not your fault, kid. It's not your fault. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. Yeah, Matt and Amber. All right, so we are here. Yeah, I, we got a few things to talk about here really quickly. Mm-hmm. Uh, we have a new product that um I was planning on designing, but then I didn't. So of course Jody did. And here it is. It's you fine. And you can find this on um Redbubble or Teespring, but I yeah, think that there's a link links. right down here. Yeah, no, you guys know where to go. You know YouTube more than we do. But uh, yeah, super cute. You could change the colors, and it, it's both on Redbubble and on Teespring on here. So uh, yeah, I'm get one out. of these nifty phone cases. I think I know they're pretty cute. Yeah, fine. Yeah, yep. fine. And um, also, really quickly. Uh, uh, we have another podcast, TRP, of course. It's coming up on Thanksgiving month, Amanda. So mm. I'm going to put a thing up on our Facebook group. We love to hate TV. Come join us. It's a fabulous yeah. group. You have to say like an inside, just to get in, you have to say like an inside joke from the show. You can say anything you want. Or if you don't right. know, just say, I don't know. Yeah. Just so that we know you're not a bot. Um, but I'll put up something just asking for Thanksgiving episode recommendations for sitcoms. No movies. Can't sit through a two-hour movie these days. Are there are a lot of Thanksgiving movies? I don't know. I guess there's not, eh? Well, but either way, just don't recommend yeah. movies to us. We would love to do them, but <laughs> we won't. Uh, so I'll put something up on there, so keep an eye on that. Um, anything else you can think of that we needed to talk We're about? We're wrapping up Halloween week on TRP, too. We're doing an episode of Sabrina the Teenage Witch and Roseanne. Roseanne, boo! We're finishing up Real Housewives of Beverly Hills and we're continuing to read all the old Sister Wives episodes on We Love to Hate TV. So go and check those out. We're about mid-season, season season four right now. Oh, it's getting geed. Yeah, once we get to Cody's sack, the cul-de-sac, I cannot wait because those are the good ones. They're all good. I don't think there are bad episodes. Even the moving season, I can still kind of fuck with that. Yeah. It's just, yeah. it gives you that warm bubble over you. Amanda, like, yeah, we get to do Mary's catfishing in like real time. Oh I know how exciting this is so good, and we need to do like oh. full investigations on that. Mm-hmm. Like, we can oh, really delve wait. in. We'll get the banana picture as our background <gasps> when that happens. Jackie Overton. Oh, oh, you just like pulled that out. You got me hooked You're on this. Always ship. thinking about Jackie. Wow. <laughs> Yeah. All right. Uh, what else? Anything? I'm just. I'm trying to go back and forth between the chat and the 
stuff. Yeah, so the mid-season okay. trailer, I think I might have seen it, but there's well, certain ones. We're gonna where break like, it down right now. I don't want to look ahead of time because I, I just want it fresh. No, you want to watch reaction. this. Well, calm down because we're watching it. Okay. Okay. I'm excited. You're fine. Okay. All right. Are you okay, guys? Spoiler, I guess. No, that's a spoiler. We all want to watch this. This what? trailer made me horny because it's so good. You've seen this. I think I did you see this one. I'm telling you, I saw something. I don't know if it was on Reddit or TikTok this morning. And I scrolled right past it because it had Christine and Truly sitting on the bed together. And that I was like, happens oh, I don't in the episode. No. Okay, so maybe that's fine. That's a full clip. Early. This is just the trailer. We're going to see two second clips of just random shit. Okay. Um, some Becca just said catfish, question mark. I'm not sure if you're oh, kidding or not. But if you Becca. don't know... I mean, I'm jealous of you. Becca, Becca. You wow. don't know this. Welcome. So Mary Always more jump in. because she she was just meeting a friend on the internet, you guys, right? She's she trying to make friends. Yeah. People usually go online and talk to people because they just want a friend, right? Mm -hmm. Just a yeah. man friend. Who she yeah, sent. most straight women look out for male strangers. Mm -hmm. Inflate bananas and then send pictures of them. But the bananas like that it's like this. It's like, <laughs> like it's not. There's no like, there's no tension in the mouth. Like you. Oh, we need to do a shot. Do you want to oh, wait yeah. till after the? Let's do it now. No, let's do a shot before this. Let That's me get right. this set up here. Um. Well, let's just do the shot now. Ready? Guys? Oh, we're doing a shot. Okay, I'm doing my normal uh fireball. I got to figure out something out. I forgot my shot glass. So here we go. Ready? Oh, okay. Um, cheers, you guys. Whatever cheers. you got. Cheers. Uh, Whatever you got. Coffee. Water. See how many, fine. Here's the laundry you get done today. All right. <laughs> go. Ooh, I heard that glug glug. Never gets easier. <laughs> Why are you sitting up, buddy? Oh. Okay. Uh, and how now many we podcasts do we have? Oh, good question. We got a million? lot. <laughs> so we do our main one we love to hate everything that's free on your whatever podcast app and then we have two patreon total request podcast and then we have uh, we love, love to, to hate, hate TV. tv there's links all over the place yeah just check them out well, this is a whole bunch of shit it, it, it appeals to anyone who likes trash tv yeah in norway is walter judging uh well, he's walter's a sweetheart god i wish i had his fucking life okay here we go are you ready <laughs> Oh, I'm ready so ready. ready. So you're going to pull this up in a window so everyone can watch with us, right? So window, right? Or is it Chrome tab? I think it's Chrome tab. I do. Yeah. So you guys okay. don't need to do anything. Can you see this? Yet. I can see it. Okay, babe. You ready? Oh, I'm ready, babe. All right. Here we go. Make me... Uh, Sister wives. Can you hear it? Yep. Great. Okay, great. Here we go. Take well, we're under contract. You ready? <laughs> Time to start packing. I am leaving in a week. I just hope they don't hate me. Congratulations, you're leaving the family. Like, I don't know what I'm supposed to say to this. You are running away rather than being accountable. You're like, I'm divorced. I'm leaving. I'm done with you. She did this. Thanks, honey. Kind of like Robin did the same thing with her kids. It's nice that like mm -hmm. we're all here and we can all be here together like the last night Hi. that mom's here in Boston. Oh my god, I didn't even recognize him. I'm leaving in five minutes. Janelle and her kids are on one side and Robin and Cody are on the other. <sighs> Bye, Christine. Good luck. Bye. Thank you. I don't want to see Christine ever again. I'm feeling betrayed. I can't imagine what Cody's feeling. He still has oh, Mary marriages loves this. with us, and he oh, yeah. still has oh, yeah. to fix them, or he's going to ruin every single one of them. You and I have been because. acting like we weren't a married couple for most of our marriage, Chanel. Everything seems to be going bad here. You did. If he can't handle my independence, I don't know if this works for me anymore. I don't really consider myself married to Mary. If she wanted to move on and marry another, she wouldn't get an argument with me. We were following all the protocols and still somehow COVID got us. Oh, mm -hmm. God, her eyebrows look way better. I think that I was sitting there watching Robin wondering if she was going to live. I just survived a really, really dark place. That. You don't give a though. Look at you. I'm mad as hell because you know what? Everybody put this on me. 
Would you ever have any empathy for me? When you're in pain, I try to understand you. So, you know, this is a really bad idea for you to walk off on this one. You know what I got to say to that? She was leaving my ass. <laughs> wow. Have you not seen that? You hadn't seen that? No, I did, but I didn't watch it again when normally I would, because I'm really trying to, I'm, I'm trying to bring you my authentic self, you know? Um, um, I'm not, I'm not at all. so much to <laughs> unpack there. I mean, first thoughts? Uh, holy hypocrisy, because that is exactly what Robin and Cody did with Robin's kids. Yeah. Robin took off with her kids, but it was totally fine. Like, she was the ultimate victim. Oh, it's, it's totally okay for Robin to do that. But if... It, and they're not even doing that. Christine isn't even taking the kids away and having them adopted by someone else. They're moving and she wants him to be part of it. Also, what was happening there? Were they all standing out at like four o'clock in the morning out there? Because like the sun wasn't up when, oh, when Tony, was Tony was there. It was setting. It was setting. I, I didn't even kind recognize Tony. She was kind of wearing the Tony. same shirt that Christine was wearing there. She kind of had a a grand white. She's a tough girl. Shirt. I'm a survivor. You're giving a little... uh a little like, you know, what is that? That's Destiny's Child, right? Yes. Or yeah, that? you got it. Okay, got it. Got um, it. Uh, so, uh, uh, I was thinking Chasing uh, Waterfalls. Chasing Waterfalls was TLC, right? TLC, yeah. I, I hated that song. That's like one of my, oh, it like nice. hits my eardrum in the wrong place. Now, um, uh, okay. wait, I thought it was interesting when Cody said, I'm mad as hell. Because what's that movie? Fuck. Mad as hell, and I'm not going to take it anymore. You know, where the guy goes nuts and then like kills everyone. Mm, well, you know me. I mean, I see like every movie when it comes out. No, this is like a movie from the '70s, and Colin always talks about it. Brian Cranston. Oh, guys, let us know. Broadway. Sure. I saw this show on Broadway with Bacon Fingers. Oh, it was like a whole... show, not a movie. Okay. No, it is a movie, but they, there's also a Broadway show of it, and his phone was blowing up the entire time because his new fiance was trying to figure out where he was. Oh, that's um, cute. That's a cute yeah. story. Isn't that, it was really fun. It was great to find yeah. that out later. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Um, Someone said Michael was... Douglas. Michael oh, well, Douglas? that's Falling Down. Network mm. is the movie. Network. Wasn't that about Facebook? Nope. That was uh, the social network. Ah, there we go. <laughs> She didn't see that one in the uh, oh, theaters not. either. <laughs> um, also, um, I just wanted to show you really quickly. Um, check this out. Daphne just sent me a picture of, um, of the, the banana parfait. parfait. Of the parfait. There it is. Wow. Um, she, do she was in the kitchen some... for like five minutes trying to take this picture. I was like, was hey, my chocolate what? chips in there? No. Oh, I thought it's just, some little she, chocolate she took five minutes to take this picture. It still looks bad. Because she's like really your, weird. Lady. She wanted to get your backsplash in there. Yeah, see, I'm see, really Jody, jealous of your backsplash, by the way. This is not even a backsplash. This is just like tile. Anyway, which sorry, is a backsplash, Amanda. That's a backsplash. Wow. Bougie. Uh, uh, TT Doll, thank you for the tip. Whoa. Yeah. I don't okay, know what Robin, okay is, but wow. I mean, like, I don't listen, any dollar not. counts. We'll give you guys some more tea later. This is not We're the planning time. on being and hanging out here for a few hours. So yeah. we promise we're, 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 we want this to be worth it to you. <sighs> Robin and Christine have royalties in the AUB church. The wrong wife left. He wanted Mary and Janelle to leave, not Christine. Mm. That is true. I've been kind of like looking up a lot of stuff about that. And like, because looking at the, fam the family trees, yeah. if anyone wants just... A night where you just want to take a deep dive, check out the Brown family tree. It's more of a circle than a tree. <laughs> right, 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 right. Uh, I, I mean, didn't know that Mary, I thought Mary had some sort of old school. They're Testament all related. They're all related something. to each other. Hmm. Okay. Oops. All right. Okay. Well, let's see. Anything else that we need to take care of or should we dive in or what? Um, to take notes. Um, uh, TRP suggestions for Thanksgiving. Yeah. Uh, check us out later on in the week because we will come back on Love to Hate Everything here. It won't be live, but we'll just talk about random shit. Stuff I want to talk about later this week is Love is Blind, which I'm caught up yes. on. The Watcher, which I finished. 
And then that wife guy TikTok uh, thing that you just sent me today about Dax Shepard. <sighs> right. I had been saying this for probably three years with Dax and Kristen. Not yeah. that I'm like the only person, but like Doth not even doth protest too much when you talk about how your marriage is like we're so like fun and kooky and we just like love each other because we're so quirky Ooh, i don't know well like it was basically a it was a tiktok video that i blind where like there's another celebrity whose husband cheats on her and then it's like a list of possibilities and i'm like why can't it be that all like all of these men seem like they they are did you see the lynn manuel miranda one though yeah, where it was like confirmed that that was true. I can't. I, God. I can't leave. I can't let myself believe that. But you don't even like Lin Manuel Miranda. No, listen. Do not start this. I'm not going to have like the 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 Manuel the hive after me. Like the Bay Hive was after me, and I didn't <gasps> say she was bad. I just said I was unfamiliar with the music. No one come after me. My my ratings of my podcast never recovered from the BI thing after me. Okay, so um, this is what happened. Jody said like randomly Manuel. that uh, Be she didn't know Beyonce very well. She's like, I just didn't really, I don't really get it. Yeah, and I don't oh, get it because I don't Bay know Hive her came. music library. I had just, you know, like an iTunes on your podcast thing, just a series of like a hundred Bs. So what would it be for Lynn manuel mm. A hat. Mr. Oh. Sondheim, look, I made a hat where there never was a hat and a Latin hat at that. Tony yeah. Ward speech. I can't see him cheating on his wife, though. I just can't. Aim says, hopefully this is a safe place, Jody. I think this is a safe place. It's a safe place. Why listen, would you be I joining actually, this? <laughs> I listened to the latest Beyonce album, which is probably like, I, I'm always like two years late to things. So right. <laughs> whenever she released it. And some of them are really good. Like, I do get it. I don't get all the songs because I'm not rhythmically inclined. Yeah, I think you're projecting. I don't think you actually. No, actually, her. no. Some of them were really good. Like, <laughs> no, she's very talented. Her songs are great. Of course. Yes. All I said was I'm unfamiliar because I'm old and I live in the Midwest. <laughs> That's it. And I, I oh, yeah. I got my ass yeah. flamed. This, the song that I've had in my head for the past two and a half weeks is the opening song from I Love You, You're Perfect. I Love You, You're Perfect, Now Change, the off-Broadway smash hit. And I can't get out of my fucking head. Hmm, okay. I cannot. Remember when we played that one song from Sister Wives and we both had it in our head forever where they were singing that hymn? And we both oh had it in our head for like don't, days. Don't I, I don't I don't I know I don't want I don't yeah. want to remember it. I can't get that. I, I, yeah, Welcome don't. to the Thunderdome, Anna. Is there an Anna? Oh, hi from Mississippi. Finally caught alive. Hi, Anna. I kind of hello, Amanda. That happened. Okay. Um. Okay. Anyway, let's okay. Let's do this. Are you ready? Let's get into this here. Yeah. Oh, I am so. Of course, ready. I don't have the episode prep. <sighs> okay, um, sister. Right. Who who do they have in the singular? shot this week Ooh, let's let see, me Amanda. see oh wait i think they have them all is it cody oh it might be all oh no it's just all of them okay, okay the failed right. priest cody feels conflicted oh my gosh he does he feels conflicted officiating a wedding while going through a divorce what? Okay, that's not a thing. Christine and Janelle are floored as Cody breaks COVID protocols for his friend, but not his family. Then Cody and Christine argue over selling her house and the custody agreement. Hmm. The failed priest. Ew, I don't like that. That sounds like a Netflix documentary about the Catholic Church or something. All right. Oh, Noel says, as a lifetime member of the Bay Hive, you are <laughs> forgiven. You. you have no idea. Thank you very much. <laughs> Ty says, this is my first live. Oh, Hello and welcome. Welcome, Ty. Marie, you guys are amazing. What time is it in England? And so let's say hello to Catherine for me. I'm a big fan of Catherine. And remember, Mills. and as before we start, remember, you can always tip us somewhere up here up down here this way i mean 30 probably a button you can you can tips you can we'll fill you in on the t there's somewhere you can tip us you, want. you don't have oh, to though you're welcome okay here we go we're starting from the fucking beginning including the recap because okay why? okay this is where i had to tell my mom to sit down i was like <laughs> are you i'm like you need TV. to use the bathroom or what she wanted to take my hand she brought me hangers 
because I needed more hangers. That is such a mom thing so to she bring just, over. She wanted to bring them up to my room so bad. And I was like, just put them on the fucking landing and I'll bring them up later. Guess what? Before she left, she brought the hangers up. She wants to see if you're making your bed or not. I'm a no, mom. No, bed, my bed was made, but I hadn't done my laundry. It was just like on the bed. Oh, so she saw. Uh... She went up and then the cats were both laying on the laundry. And she was like, Georgie, Georgie. And I find it annoying that she calls him that. I don't like that nickname. I don't like it. Don't it, reminds like me of it. it reminds me of it. All right. Well, um, it here ruined we go. a girl's scout sleepover for me. Let me just tell you. What? It? Yeah. Like the made for TV one? it. I was awake. Uh, with Tim Curry. At a girl scout sleepover thing. It was really bad. And I had like two bitchy mom leaders. They're such. Mm, okay. Let's get into it. <laughs> All right. Ready? Okay. We're starting at zero minutes and zero seconds. Okay. And. Away we go. Previously on Sister Wives. We're throwing Isabel a graduation party. Ah, you're so pretty. It's strange because like we're in this moment and we're having a nice time. Why isn't this something worth fighting for? Why isn't this something worth staying for? These are the rules for us to be able to actually associate as a family. We are doing most of these things, but we don't wipe our mail. We don't wipe our groceries. I'm sorry. I think this is overkill. I am telling my sister wives that I'm leaving Cody. Love Christine and Green. If you move to Utah, what about Julie? I think Trump is going to be fine. She's never going to come back. Well, we'll come back. You can't take her from me. It'll have to be 50-50. It's so funny. You get a bad 50-50 time with us the whole time we lived here. I guess I'm just sorry we failed. Chilling. Let's see how many minutes it takes us for, t for us to put up our hair, Amanda. Kid right now because it's snowing out and I have my window wide open. Ugh. I just want to say during the, all of that, all of you guys are being so supportive of us and the not, call, not calling us out for being thirsty because we need that <laughs> money. Yeah. Like, thank you for being supportive. Sandra Gills has hit the like button, guys. Oh does that God, get us more money? Sweet. I guess probably does. Huh? Um, I don't know, but it makes us feel loved. Thank you. Yes, thank you guys. Truly. And, uh, yeah, we're just no pun soon. intended. Yeah. Laura H says. Cody's eyes this show were completely crazy. Okay. There's like, there's like a part where he's like, he's like talk. He's like, I am very <laughs> I just got like wildly turned on, and that never happens. Well, I'm pretty sexy. All right. Close up. I like this. Okay. Oh. Ooh. Okay. I'm gonna cut that part out probably. No, uh, you're not. <laughs> okay. Ha, here we go. Whoops. Immediately, my mom's like, "Oh, they're in Texas. I recognize it. I recognize Texas. <laughs> Why would he be in Texas, Amanda?" So I, I just recognize it, Joe. Because oh, yeah, they've, her and Ron have driven all across America. So I am in Texas right now. I am driving to. My buddy's wedding. Brian Colwell's getting married. I'm driving to Tulsa, Oklahoma. My buddy Brian is getting married to his sweetheart, Judith. And right now I'm What a weird way to say Judith. that. But to like he's getting married to his sweetheart. He loves that word sweetie. My that's why yeah, I call what you, are my, you my dad. That's yeah. crazy. That's like why did my he dad say, used to why did like, he say his oh, his full name? Yeah, uh, my friend Brian Coldwell is getting business. Married. He's probably pimping some business that uh, is. Well, I looked it up. Has. I couldn't find anything about him. I, I I was I was like, oh, I wonder if this is the one that like has charges against him for you know beating is his that wife Ken? No, Ken is just an asshole oh, and possibly okay. Asian. Okay, that sounds. That sounds <laughs> I mean, it's unre 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 unrelated to him being. I just, me and Jody have had arguments about whether or not he's Asian. I think he is. Well, not that it Cody, matters. Okay, listen, because Cody doesn't actually have any actual friends. He has a lot of people right. that he thinks are best friends, but he really Mona only has like, two from way back in the day, Ken yeah. being one of them. So we have to like specify. Um, 
Oh, what was I also going to say? I, I don't like the sunglasses with the flicking it up thing because you really see that receding hairline. Oh, does that. yes, you do. Also, Judith. Interesting name for someone like around our age. You don't. Yeah. And, and, her, and his friend is like 55 and Judith is maybe 30. Oh, so we were, okay. me and my mom were speculating as to what exactly was happening here. Mm, okay. So he's going to Oklahoma to officiate this wedding. His good friend. Okay. Got it. Oh, wait, here we go. We got, we got some information. See, this is why we have the group chat going here. Cause we got information mm. from you guys. Linda K says, this is the guy that was <gasps> allegedly selling illegal firearms at gun shows with some other guy. What a shocker that Cody's involved with someone. Well, like that makes that. sense. The $200 an hour now. No, right? I, I really think that he's talking about cameo when he does that. When he says, okay, that. Sarah says, this is his business partner. Okay. Got it. That's why because he continually will say his first and last name throughout the episode. So I think. Hey. Good Yikes. Lord. It's his gun dealer partner. Okay. Illegal. Hey. I didn't realize hey. it was for illegal weapons. What are there illegal weapons in the U S I didn't think that even well, existed down there. Well, you know, like if you're buying at a gun show, certain states and certain laws, like you should have a background check. But at a lot of these gun shows, you can kind of buy them under the table. Yeah, like a kid can go buy it, <laughs> from what I know. Um, okay, so Joe says, Joe in Salt Lake City says, also, it was a 17-hour road trip. My God, is it not just worth it to take a plane at this point? How can he do that? Because then he'd have to stop at gas stations, which is why he didn't go with Isabel and Christine to bring Isabel to college. Oh, huh, interesting. Mel Mitch tipped us $5 and she said, you guys are hilarious. Oh. Jody. I know people have chimed in before, but I think you look like Renee Zellweger. <gasps> Thank you. Actually, I got that one time. <laughs> I can see that. Do you I notice can I, can, I can recall the specific incidents that would oh, right. be um, oh, about poor memory. 17 years ago <laughs> when I was teaching and one of the super hot firefighters that come for like fire safety week. Um, I remember what I was wearing. I was wearing like a, a little leather skirt and like a turtleneck top thing. It was like cute at the time before I had like mom bod. And he's like, oh, your teacher looks like Renee Zellweger. And I was like, mm -hmm. but I didn't get it at the time that he was kind of flirting with me. And now I regret it. But uh, so thank you, Rachel Mel Mitch, for unlocking Rachel that Rachel Trash, Kathy and Jimmy, Mr. Bean. Shut up. I got, uh, what's her it's name? Bette happened. Midler. Bette Midler. Bette Midler's great. She yeah, she's talented, but I don't have that talent. I just have the nose. I'm like, thanks. Oh my God, calm down. Uh, Justine says, hello, Justine. One of our best friends in the world. He has the same hairline as Adam Lind from TM2, uh, Teen Mom 2. Uh, mm. Yeah, if Cody shaved his head, he would have the full Travis Bickle. Just, I, guys can pull that off. Just go bald. Just cut it down. I don't know about that. Okay, let's see. I'm getting excited here. Cody oh, at a God. wedding. Oof. So basically he's officiating this wedding and he is horny. Well, he gets yeah, be because he of... feels like he's going to be da Bella da Ball. This is his moment to be center of attention. And that's right. why he's going. And maybe this is when I should just play this if I can. Ooh, okay. This one we didn't test out, but I was just really, I, I want to promote our sister podcast, our sister wife podcast, really. Mm. Uh, Surviving Sister Wives. They have a new U uh, TikTok channel that I love and yes. they put, oh, God, yeah. I this works. And they played this and this is exactly what you like. This is, you're going to love this. Okay. I think I share the window here. Yes. Here we go. Okay. Can you see this? Oh, yes. Okay. You can hear it. Uh, not yet. No, you can't hear it. Shit. Mm -mm. Huh, I wonder why that didn't work. That's okay. We can work on it, right? Okay, well, basically, just everyone go check out their TikTok channel, but it's him yeah. talking about officiating a wedding, and then it skips over to Phyllis's wedding on The Office when Michael, and then they put <laughs> they put Cody's face over Michael's Marriage. face. Ladies, ladies and gentlemen, Phyllis and Bob Vance! <laughs> Bob Vance, Vance Refrigeration. Yes. Yeah, it's oh just exactly God. what Cody just cannot wait to like announce this because he thinks it's about. Oh, God. And yeah. Linda K says shout episode. out for Surviving Sister Wife. We've done a couple yeah, crossovers with them. Great. We're not very well received on their end, but everyone seems to like oh, it. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, great. Yeah, because we're, we're annoying. We're, we're well. a refined palette. 
more of a particular taste. Mm. All right, here we go. I'm driving through Texas and I'm just enjoying the peace and quiet and solitude is almost like meditative state for me when I'm driving. I get deep in thought. I think about and I sort out a lot of my problem. I don't like thinking of Cody in a meditative state while driving. Yeah, no, don't like do that. Country. No, I need you to be alert. Do you think in his meditative it's state, it's just he's picturing himself and Caleb wrestling to like macho, macho man. No, I think he's thinking... Do, 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 ah, do. is that Pacabell? When he's jamming out to lift it. Pacabell. Favorite workout song. Pacabell. Oh, he's such a sociopath. Canon indeed, you know. <sighs> I'm afraid to say that I'm mostly thinking about um, uh, my divorce. <laughs> Uh, I decided to come checking COVID numbers. And there's only like uh, 11,000 or less cases in the entire United States. So mm. it seems like it's safe to sort of poke my head out. Yeah, the travel choice is interesting to me, and I realize it's important. But Cody and Robin still observe the very strict rules about COVID. And yet here's Cody traveling. I'm feeling like it's time to sort of emerge from all this uh, quarantining the sequestering that we've had with I hate that he, he says sequestering a couple times in this episode also he uses the term gaslighting exactly twice and both times he's referencing it like me and my mom both were like you don't know what gaslighting means mm. well it's interesting too that he he's now decided I've decided it's safe enough to do it but when yeah, Christine I've decided, not and Janelle, Fauci <laughs> Right. Well, that's what like, his doctor friend is, right? For sure. His doctor friend who he refers to. Sure. Friend. Mm, okay. So um, he's Justine decided to Justine wrote, I watched the one yesterday. This is one of the best episodes and also like one of the most frustrating that I'm is going to be very triggering. I watched the one yesterday where they went on a three hour road trip and Cody loses his shit because he got no sleep. Actually, now I can't think of what exactly that one is because that applies to a few different situations. But I have yeah, a feeling Cody's that's useless, man. Ugh. I have a feeling it's God. the one where he yells at Christine for like, I think some people refer to it as a PMS. Oh my God. He was such an asshole in that one. Yeah. We're getting that to that one soon. Too. Oof. Ooh, what is yeah, that? I was just Kelly, that. Kelly says Jody and Amanda giving you an exclusive. Mm. Well, tell it. Tell yeah. it. What is it? Let <sighs> right, me get back to that. <laughs> All right. COVID. It's strange that Janelle's in this headspace because I sequestered and stayed home for 15 months. Janelle and Christine didn't, but the family wasn't getting together before that. And the family isn't getting together now, not because of COVID. That's a gaslighting fallacy. That's Janelle just trying to put hot coals on my head. We're not getting together because the family doesn't want to. Just last week, we went to her niece's wedding. So these little things about me aren't really jiving i've traveled with her a lot so i'm excited about all right so let's pause it there and get to kelly watson's scoop oh why is that not surprising cody filled up brian he can't and can't do anything right i had to refile it <laughs> how so do you even so fill so it out funny. wrong though isn't it just just writing names you're writing names on shit it have to be like a notary and then oh let's see Hey, you sign it, date it, and it needs a stamp. Kelly right? Watson. I looked it up on the Oklahoma court website. Doing Girl, the Lord's work over here for us, you guys. I know. I, I've been wanting to start like a PI agency. <laughs> You're, you'll be one of my top recruits. Oh, Some of my best work has actually been for you, Amanda. When I found that parking ticket. Like, for crab cakes. That crab really took a left turn. Uh, like Paul Granatini says, sorry for my English. I live in Germany. From my Amazing. experience, uh, German podcast listeners, like German people that listen to podcasts in the US have way better English than we do because we had a <laughs> lot on Squirrel Friends po Cocktail Hour. Um, so don't ever apo apologize. I'm sure your English is better than us and you're much smarter than us. Uh, okay, so here we go. Um, anything, anything else here? Okay. Oh, good. My internet's getting shitty. 
Here we go. Okay, I'm I'm sad that I'm making the loan and I miss uh, the idea of having a wife with me. Robin was supposed Robin. to come and didn't because we've got uh, had to make sure the kids were taken care of. There are three adult bye bye yeah. kids that live at the house that could take care of the precious children and a nanny and Janelle and Mary mm -hmm. and their kids. Like Savannah. But I wonder if Robin just does not want to be in public anymore. Because, like, again, we kind of, like, looked at that, the timing of, like, her last tweet when she must have realized how much everyone hated her. Right. Because if that were me, I wouldn't want to go to a wedding. Would you? If you were the most hated woman on reality TV, she's, like, more hated than Angela. And like, I think it's Janelle. more that it is work to bring kids on a trip granted not that hard of work when they're 11 and 6 at this point it's not that hard they, they i have kids don't need myself. to bring them on the trip they can leave them well, at home even, well yeah but this is people. robin this is robin uh little areola isn't going to go to sleep by herself she's going to be up all night she's going to cut her entire bangs off <laughs> she's going to go full <laughs> she's going to get into those mommy. scissors yeah uh, so <laughs> it's more work for robin because robin would actually be the one taking care of them if she were to take the kids with them and we know robin doesn't like to be alone with the kids the whole time so yeah. she'd be back at the hotel while cody's doing his wedding tearing or you know tearing up the rug or whatever the hell oh wait till you see floor. it wait till you see the oh did you okay. see that clip i saw dancing? a little clip again i try not to watch that's it, gonna that's where me and my mom fully burst out uh melanie okay. says i think robin has more serious health issues than she is discussing i'm sure that she's drained if 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 her thyroid is actually fine I'm sure she's still very fatigued. And then Lorianne says, she says he's been angry. She needs a break from his ranting too. A few people are saying, uh, Emily says, Robin probably really, really enjoyed his four days away. I wonder if that is what it is that Robin's like, no, you go. Go it get out. Bye-bye. I think it's right? more that she's thinking it's a lot of work to take kids on a trip to travel with them and that she's going to be the one running after them. Remember when they had the... The campfires out on Coyote Pass. And she's Solinari! Like, Solinari! Don't touch her! Don't touch her! Don't touch her! Don't touch her. Don't touch truly! Truly! Back I mean, up. You said back that up. you were going to help me, but then I have to be the one that's like, hey, you guys, come back! She doesn't like to work or do anything with her kids, so I think just that's it's kind of on her side her. for that, though, because he does promise her, no, I promise you, I will be there helping. And he isn't. Mary's running around there with them. Well, it's stupid. And then also, if she doesn't go, then he'll hurry back. It's, uh, yeah. yeah. Um, oh, this is interesting, too. Uh, Lynn, Linda Kay says, I thought yep. Solinari couldn't survive two days without Cody, but he's mm. he leaves for four days here. But this is so important. Oh, He's so officiating a wedding. They, could, they couldn't have this wedding without Cody being there. For his illegal gun salesman partner. That's interesting. $200 an hour, it. Amanda. Did I say I'm going to be performing their wedding? I yeah, you did. I got a license in Oklahoma, and I got approval from the county, and I will be performing their marriage. Cody told me that he was going to officiate another wedding. At first, I was like, that's great. He did a great job officiating, so he'll do a wonderful job. But then I was like, what about COVID? I haven't made any plan. I don't know what I'm going to say yet. So I'll try to do something eloquent. We'll see. Are you going to mask up while you're officiating? Are they going to have to follow Cody's rule? No, that's ridiculous. They're not going to have to follow <laughs> Cody's rules. Anyway, now halfway through this, my mom started saying like, you know, I'm kind of getting annoyed with Christine. She seems to whine a lot. I'm like, then you need to go back Whoa. to season one, episode one. and fucking Get out. It. Yeah. Get out. Bye bye. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, Christine has earned the right to complain all oh, yeah. she wants. She can, yeah, look, when she said the mm -hmm. F word a couple of weeks ago, all of yeah. America were shook. Wait, wait, uh. say sorry. Emily, Cody would have gone to Isabel's surgery, but they told him he couldn't be the surgeon. <laughs> <laughs> you know he would have fought and be like, I, uh, I can keep an Back eye up, on the, everyone uh, on that <laughs> machine over there. I'll, I'll let you guys know if it's... Uh, like, don't touch anything, anything, sir. Something. Sir. Oh, <laughs> he'd be stealing <laughs> the scrubs. Uh, you the just walk in the scalpel Dr. down death style, just like walking yeah. around the hospital and scrubs. Oh, gross! Uh, Ryan Jude's wedding, so 
We'll check in with you soon. Maybe he'll do some healing up. You know, maybe he'll find some answers or something because he's been a very angry guy lately. Mm-hmm. Beaker face. She went full beaker face. A lot of people said on the group before I even woke up, Robin is a little more sympathetic this episode. Like people are like worried about Robin. Because mm. I don't think she's lying when she says that. There's no way he's fun to be around. He's so pissed. Every time he comes home from Christine's, he's he must be in a blind rage. And he, he must take it out on Robin. I mean, I think this is a lot of her own doing. She made her bed. She needs to lay yeah. in it. But he I mean, vents a, a lot point. about the other wives to her. And that's the only reason she wants them to all fix it or for him to fix yeah. it because she's tired of hearing about it. But like you said, you made this happen. If Robin were to say, yeah, you should definitely go over there. I think we're good. We got the kids vaccinated. We're all vaccinated, which we know that they are not into that not. sort of thing. No. Um, he would go along with it because we saw last season when he's like, I think it's fine if Mary hangs out with the kids. And she's like, no, no, it's definitely not the time. No, no. Oof. Um, Leah Simmons says, I think Cody is actually really dangerous right now. I mean, I, uh-huh. I would agree. Matt, I'm scared of all men, really. Um, Jack Wagon... Jack Wagon. Just yeah. I just wanted to say what the screen name was, but he's talking. So uh, they are talking to Justine. Uh, don't even need to take one for the team. The wedding even won't be legal since Cody can't file the documents part. Oh, God. Cody's such a fucking piece of shit. Yeah, she doesn't hold him accountable. Exactly. And I guess she might be afraid of him a little bit, but it's like... <sighs> If if you're if you want Christine to work so hard on her marriage with Cody, then you should be working just as hard to talk some sense into him. Because you know you're the only one he listens to. And also, even if you look at earlier seasons, like really early seasons, really, really early seasons, mm-hmm. they'll Cody will say something really shitty on the couch or something, and the other wives will be like, That sucked. And then Robin will constantly be like, I think yes. what Cody meant about that. I think what he was actually trying to say. So she's been Sticking yeah, up we're seeing him. that as we rewatch yeah. it. And did it like the last episode? He was just talking about something, and all of a sudden she's like, Cody, you look really sad. I can tell you're really sad. And he's like, hmm. And did this little boy face. Like, what the hell? He was fine. <sighs> yeah, fine. Ugh. Okay. All right. Oh, where's this cat coming from? What cat? Where's a cat that's gonna be coming up on the uh... oh Christine's house. Christine's house. Yeah, because she's she's the cat. The cat. The mm, cat. cat. She does hard G's too. She Tell does a lot of hard, story. yeah, hard ending consonants. Cat. Mm-hmm. And truly, that I was leaving Cody and we were moving. We'll always. Oh, Jody. Okay, so I know that you. No. Is it you that you don't like Truly? Yeah, you said she was your arch nemesis. Guys, okay, this, I, I feel like this is going to be, be the uh, the true hive after me now. <laughs> No, 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 no. Because I think that you'll have a change of tune. No, I think she's fine now. I feel bad for her. Now that we've had light shed on it and we know she was like truly the forgotten child, I have a different take on things. Oh, no. Wait, but we haven't seen her talk uh, in a while. She was a little precocious back in the day. It was when she did her one woman uh, like vagina monologues on the family road trip and she forced everyone to watch her on the outdoor stage. I was like, wrap it up. Let's go. Uh, um, but here we haven't seen her like speak full sentences okay. like in a long time. I think you might be like impressed because me and my mom were both like, oh, she's very I eloquent. Think all of Christine's kids are very emotionally intelligent. Yes. High yeah. EQ, so I'm guessing truly might have the same. Okay, let's see. All right. I hate what my hair is doing right now, but we're going to leave her in. Right no, one of the top right 10 worst experiences of my life. Oh, okay. So that's really young. I told her we're moving. And she started to cry. I said, it's just you and I that are moving. It's just the two of us. And she goes, are you and dad getting divorced? And her little face was so heartbroken. Oh, God. Mm-hmm. After I told Truly that we were moving, I started boxing up stuff invisibly so she could see I was boxing up stuff and later that day I went into her room and she was boxing up her stuff I never asked her to I never told her it was time I just want to find out what's going on inside her head now so it seems like 
you are feeling different about dad and I getting divorced and then about moving possibly to how you feel. So the first day when I found out, um, I was extremely upset, but like, I'm fine now. Uh, I just had to realize for a day that um, not everything was going to change. Of course, I would have to move Flagstaff. You guys got divorced and were divorced for a while. But the only thing that was going to really change is that you two would be together. And I kind of noticed the signs earlier then that you weren't as happy. But you didn't really show it that much. So, of course, I didn't actually know. It was a bit of a heartbreak at first. But I'm fine now. Wasn't that like a really impressively eloquent? She's very well spoken yeah. compared to like what we used she, to know of her. She reminds me a lot of McKelty. The way that she speaks, that's very McKelvey. Oh, I can see that. Yeah. The same mannerisms, the same pattern of speech. She's a smart kid. And, and think about all the different life experiences that she's had to go through because she's grown up on camera. Like all of her siblings, yeah. just all different ages and watching that. And then, you know, like your dad being a sociopath and all that kind of yeah. stuff. But plus also like interacting with other adults like the crew and coming and going oh she's a sweet kid she's gone through a lot sarah Aww. says how old was she when this was shot is she's 11 here so she's i think 14 now 13 14 now no wait that was no that 12 she's probably 12 no yeah she's gonna be 12 because she's only something like 16 months older than solomon yeah I wonder but if Solomon there's gonna can't be... be left alone for a day or whatever. He can't be yeah. left with a babysitter. Or a nanny I also don't think Solomon cares either, though. I don't think I they I don't think they I they care. I think Solomon not would like the opportunity left alone. Yeah, remember when Cody tried to drag him into the cistern pit, <laughs> and he's like, "I don't want to, Daddy." It's um, like it's fun. Go. Through. I wonder if there's gonna be like a law that comes up in the next few years where. Babies that were like born on camera without their consent are able to like, I don't know, do something, go after their parents legally. Cause it's like, I didn't consent to this. I didn't mm -hmm. consent to my first moment entering out of your vagina being shown mm -hmm. on camera. Yeah. I would be irritated about that. And like, now I have like all these conversations I had as a the little bloggers kid. Bloggers and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. yeah kids who they're all over Facebook being potty trained and all that kind of stuff. I always right. think about that. Like when your kids go to get their first job and their boss Googles them. And then it's like, uh, little Britain, Callie, Layton, whatever, just latched on today, you know, and it has like them breastfeeding. Oh yeah. yeah. And then just, I know teen mom at least has a thing where like the kids get their own, college like account or something right yeah i think they well, get like that, a certain that amount dugan law or whatever it is oh like the oh, nirvana yeah. baby good point sandra <gasps> all right the nirvana baby yeah yeah there should yeah. be something especially now i think more so yeah with bloggers and all that kind of stuff do you think the yeah. brown kids have their own like college accounts because i don't i doubt i'm sure cody negotiated Oof. it away if there is anything it'd probably be because Janelle or Christine set something up. I think Robin's just like, okay, whatever you say, Cody, and whatever money you're the man would be after theirs. Uh, Coogan's all, yeah, it is now in the house or on the land. And is that what that's about? Just like how what? often? What is Coogan's well, no, law? Uh, so Coogan's law. Correct me if I'm wrong, you guys, but that was more hairs going up for like child actors. Oh, okay. That yeah. It has to go into a trust that their parents can't have uh -huh. access to it. But I don't know what that is for like reality shows and that kind of stuff. Well, they you should know? do that. It's fucked up. Yeah. Um, okay. Okay. Oh, I got like Cody Ken tendrils or whatever. All right. We're real professional over here. This little ramen here. Uh, we're at <laughs> six minutes and five seconds. Yep. Even though truly saying she's okay, she's just an 11 year old kid. Is she 100% okay? No. Gosh, no. How can she process the heartache and the frustration and the anger and the sadness? She can't process it all like that. That's going to take time. I look at this conversation as a beginning. 
Did you, you remember the day I told you and you were devastated? I told you you could reach out to grandma because she knew and Aspen and Kelsey. Did you reach out to anybody? I reached out to Aspen and grandma. He did. When Aww. I talked to Aspen and my grandma about the divorce, it was more of me like trying to tell tell them like like because I didn't really know what else to do. Although what they did say is reassuring because they both already knew. But also the realization that everybody knew before me was kind of it did kind of feel like a betrayal. <laughs> She is so she's got a very good vocabulary. I'm just very yeah. impressed with just because we it's such a huge yeah. drastic change from when she was she'd be on the couch with Solomon and she'd be like grabbing his head and shaking it <laughs> like when they were like yeah. really, really little. Yeah, and she was kind of shy, and there were so many other things going on that it's never like she got the spotlight until oh Cody, no, never. you know, almost killed her. I just rewatched oh. the episode where or like the uh, one of the best episodes ever, the um commencement not the commencement ceremony. They're like Logan's graduation. No, 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 no. Oh, oh that one's a good one too. No, the uh the vow renewal or whatever when they made the Cody Browns. Oh, uh, the Brown family mission statement. Yes. But when <laughs> Cody's having that mental psychotic break <gasps> when they're taking During pictures. The pictures. Yeah, he's holding, I think Christine is holding truly and he's holding Solomon. Shocker. Weird. And at one yeah. point, yeah, at one point he's like, McKelsey, can you just take truly God? Because I guess she was being kind of wily, and he's he's looking at Christine like, "Come on, get your fucking kid under control, Christine." And he makes McKelty take Christine. McKelty's wearing that weird hat, that like insane <gasps> top. Hat with wanted feather. to be a fashion designer. Oh yeah, she designed shoes, and she had a sketchbook. It was like, mm. oh, she's going into fashion. She had like one of those little, uh, like mannequin things from Home Goods in her room. Yeah. <laughs> Oh. Um. Yeah. Okay. We got. We have like four hundred people in here right now. You guys are amazing. Oh. Check, check out that tip button if you want. Yeah. Yeah. Let's yeah. do it. Keep that money rolling in for us. Uh, um. We need a good mom. More than she's Cody. a great mom. Yeah. Oh, she's such she's, a good mom. And yeah. uh, truly, I was just so. Um. It was jarring Impressed. almost to see how well spoken she is. Yeah. yeah. And how much and, and, um, intellectually mature she is. And just, oh God, she's going to make it easier her. knowing that we already were divorced rather than we will be getting divorced. Um, was it easier that it's been done? Uh, yeah. But I kind of wish that you didn't keep it a secret from me for so long and that I had to know that we were moving. Only like three months before we actually wanted to move. She is Mini McKelty. Yeah. I yeah. was told we were going to be moving in September, which is only a few months. She also kind of has a little Aspen in her, though. Hmm. Maybe. I mean, they're all they're all just yeah, Christine. They're all just Christine. I don't oh, know what she's going with that realization. Oh, go ahead. That I, can pause I was just going to say, I don't know what she's going to say, but I have to, in Christine's defense, I would imagine that it's not as clear cut as like, oh, I've decided to get a divorce. We're getting a divorce. Now I tell truly whatever this whole process, especially with it not being like a legal marriage and you're not going through a legal divorce would be the timeline is a little bit more fluid or a little bit more gray yeah. area. And like, when do you tell the kids and when do we decide what we're doing? Do you tell them after you've made the decision of like who, what the custody is, what this, so that way you could tell them like, listen, everything's going to be okay. This is all planned. This is decided and not just, this is going to happen and we'll see. Cause that could create more anxiety too. Agreed. You know, like she told me last after everybody, buddy else that I didn't get to know. And we were about to leave it was kind of hurtful. Like it did feel like a betrayal that she wouldn't bother to tell me about it. And I was going to be affected the most. So you're okay with the divorce. I'm fine now. Hmm. I'm okay. Yeah. Okay. It's fine. I think part of this is truly also just listening. You're going to laugh in a second. Just so you know. Everything that people have told her and supported her and i think she's just trying to be okay 
but her voice catches a little and there is a little bit of a spark that's not in her eye yet. You know, she is still, of course, she's still sad. Telling you was the hardest part of all of this. I can see why, because I'm the youngest yeah. and it would be the hardest break for me. Yeah. But it wasn't that hard. At this point, though, I'm very grateful that I decided to end it with Cody before any fighting or before any real, like, arguments that truly would have noticed and truly would have seen. But still, it's hard for her to look back and see that I was sad. I, that's hard because you're just a kid. That's a lot of a burden on her. I don't want to say anything bad here because we're going to yeah. share our children. Oh, you don't? You don't want to say anything bad? Because it's been pretty much you the last... <laughs> Yeah. Four seasons, especially. Well, he's putting the kids first, Amanda. That's why. Okay? He, does, he doesn't want to. He doesn't want to say anything. That's basically like saying, "Well, there are a lot of things I could say to you right now, Jody, but I'm not going to." Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. right. right. Which makes your head spin out of control. I could tell people talking. lots of things about you, but I'm not going to. I'm too good of a person. Mm -hmm. No offense, but these are all the same thing. <laughs> Erica, hey, Erica. Uh, check out her podcast, the Surreality Podcast. She's doing a lot of good stuff over there. I love her. Um, she's. I love how the oh, spelling of Amanda seems to change that. every week. Yeah, we add an H. I think every time. <laughs> yeah, some Ooh. people do not like that. Careful. Oh, I'm a little sassy. I said little... that doesn't make you quirky, not even a little bit. <laughs> yeah, they didn't get the joke. That's all right. <laughs> right, that's fine. You didn't get the joke. Oh. Right. The rest of our lives, but I do believe she's being very unfair with me and to me, oh, especially in this God. conversation with Truly, where she's marginalized me so much in our marriage what? so much that she's kind of leading Truly into blowing it off. She They're didn't blowing do that at me all. off. Nope. Yeah, I didn't know how to tell you. I had no idea how to tell you. What That's why it? it took so long for me to tell you, or you just found it anyway. But it took me so I just didn't know what to say, you know? I knew it would change your world. You're it's fine. Like, okay. Yeah, I'm okay. fine. You're fine. Everything's cool. fine. I'm okay. 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 I'm good. I like your nails. Thanks. Mm. You're welcome. You look kind of messy. Uh, Christine told me this, whatever happened, she had to tell Truly. Um, and so I came over the next day and I just sat down with Truly and just to talk with her. And I'm talking with Truly and I'm said, how are you doing? And she seemed to have dealt with it either very well or i'm not a psychologist i'm just a what? parent but maybe she just i can't figure out what he said there wait hold on i'm not a psychologist i'm just a shitty parent did he say shitty wait. parent but he never was doing and she seemed to have dealt with it either very well or i'm not a psychologist i'm just a shitty parent but maybe did it she say just shitty buried it title? emotionally uh, it bleeped it out, but that's what he's saying. So he's saying, he's definitely like, saying shit. I'm, I can't believe he'd even say that, though. He's saying, I'm not a psychologist. Maybe I'm just a shitty parent, but it seems to me like she just buried it emotionally. Well, I think she's she, just seen for a super sticker, oh, by the way. I love you, Jesse. Canada. Canada. Okay. Now, I'm sure there's a lot of other moms that are <laughs> watching and listening. This is something that she, okay. Could she have told her earlier before everyone else knew? Yes. I don't. Who knows what's going on through Christine's mind? She was probably trying to figure out the right thing to say, the right time to say it. She might have been waiting for Cody to get back to her about, you know, custody and whatever so that she could tell truly what to expect and not leave a lot of gray area, which would be my guess because she seems like a pretty decent mom. But yeah. a conversation like this that comes up, you're going to deal with it right then. You're not going to be like, well... Yes, we're getting divorced, but I'll talk to you about it more tomorrow when dad comes over. It's something you have to deal with and talk about right that minute. And she seemed very comfortable talking with Christine and truly likely would have. I'm sorry if I'm talking too much. No, it, no, no, no. You're truly processing this. I've already seen this. Probably so clammed it. up just like he says Isabel does when he's around because she's not around him a lot. So she probably would have just been sitting there listening listening to Cody spew on and Christine doesn't oh, trust him. Well, funny you should say that because we're going to get Truly's account of what the conversation was and it's going to be wildly different. By the way, uh, oh. Tamika, Tamika Carter says, finally, Cody says something I can't agree with. He's a shitty <laughs> he yeah, yeah, exactly. And also, exactly. thank you, LocoVision, who has been oh, one of my our... God, you so of, you're, you're so fun to uh, do this with. So thank you for always joining in uh, for yeah. sending us a tip. Uh, yeah, here, you're going to hear Truly's account because Cody, what Cody 
made it sound like we really sat down and we talked about this. Well, oh, carried it emotionally. Um, <laughs> because to deal with it, but she seemed very okay. I haven't really talked to dad a lot about the divorce. He just basically told me, like, um, you found out about the divorce. And I was like, yeah, I'm fine with it. And he was like, okay. <gasps> so-, <laughs> so it never really went beyond that is what she says next. No, th- and I believe truly. Well, thank Bel- God. Hashtag Cody. believe truly. Justice for truly. I'm sorry, I'm processing. Now, now I'm speechless. Okay, so he was pissed that he wasn't there because there's things that he wanted to say. And when he does get the chance to say it, he's like, okay, so you good? All right. You're not going to have any, like, daddy issues and be a bitter old housewife, are you? God. Yeah. And you could tell uh, her voice was kind of breaking right there. Like, it seemed like she yeah. was getting a little emotional about that. There's this, and then there's um, Gabe is going to have a little segment later, spoiler alert, where he talks about his relationship with his dad. And I said out loud, like, while I was watching, I was like, wow, I can really relate to that. Because I went out to my mailbox yesterday and, like, um, I, there was like a sh- t-shirt that said, I love Dubai in it and coasters from Dubai in the yeah. mailbox. And I was like, did you send the, did you give this to me? He's like, yeah, I rode my bike over yesterday and I put them in there. They were sitting in a bag for like three years. I forgot to give them to you. I was oh. like, so you give me a present. Don't ring the doorbell to say hello. And then after I thank you, just say, oh yeah, I was sitting there for like three years. Oh, I this is like the exact. He did, like oh, ten he years went ago. To Dubai too. My yeah. oh, he did. Oh, uh-huh. I got um, um, baklava anyway. from there. Remember you that? did get baklava from there. I remember that, and a shawl of some kind, a pashmina. Um, well, to be clear, from the um, Dubai airport. Airport. <laughs> right. Better <laughs> Making a second cocktail um, now that I'm talking about my dad. Uh, you yeah, know, I, I get oh, it. Truly, it. honestly, though, okay. It's better that Cody said less. I don't want to defend him at yeah. all, but it's better that he said, okay, you're good and left it at that because he could have really fucked some things up here. Yeah. You know? And also, that- Cody's not that intelligent to, like, ask follow-up oh, no. questions. So dumb. We only see him dancing. Oh. Ames says, sorry, Amanda, that is rough. I really don't tell these daddy stories to get sympathy. Like, I'm really just so numb to it. Like it becomes funny at a certain point. Like, most I'm like, how much true. lower can you fucking go? God, he just actually here, like- Julie Baker, you make a really good point. Ooh, sorry. Uh she's yeah, she's not gonna miss a dad that she never had. Right. It's true. Like she was kissing having- Robin while her head was crowning out of Christine's vagina. Absolutely. And in front We're of her. We're not even being at- like glib about that. That's actually what had at- what was happening. Yeah, and at Ariel her water was great party. He was going like, oh, you're my sweetie. You're the sweetest little girl. My little sweetie. You light up a room. You. What did he say? You're the the family glue. The, the Trey, family like, glue hey, Kent is actually oh, what he is. is exact words were. Thank you very much, Jody. <laughs> and truly was sitting there <laughs> mixing her melted vanilla milkshake like, oh, okay, cool. Do you know when my birthday is? Oh, you don't even know oh, yeah, how no. old I am. Cool. And yeah, again, um, people before- are... Oh, go ahead. Sorry. Oh, people are asking about why Peyton isn't in the family pictures. I don't think that's anything. I think he's still close with them. He he moved away and they yeah. just keep showing they have they have a stock thing of like six photos, and I think he's not in a couple of them because he wasn't yeah. able to be there isn't to make he, like National stuff. Guard or something too. So he might have been like I don't think he did he go to the army. I thought it was Hunter and I thought he was Garrison. National Guard. You guys let us know. Well, hmm. Either way, um, here we got uh, Lori Sue says, is anyone other than myself in the opinion Cody is a narcissist, self-absorbed, overgrown adolescent with an overinflated ego, constantly needing to assert himself due to his tiny genitalia? No, I think you're wrong, Lori. I think he's <laughs> a big and dick. And huge. He, it's and great, he's, great. He's got, it all, great. <laughs> he's got it all together up, upstairs. He knows yeah, what no. he's doing. Not God, just you, Lori. Oof. No, not just. I mean, I think isn't that really why all women at least tune into this? 
it's oh, a little bit yeah. of schadenfreude because like i feel like anyone like they're like well at least my partner isn't as bad as this yeah right? we're all just kind of like taking out like any sort of anger about right. anything out on him because it's just right. so easy oh it's so easy and again the segment producer whoever he is his segment producer the things they are pulling out of him tell that story again the Cody. Trust that level that they have. yes, yes. He's so probably needs any guy, any man, because Cody immediately is oh, going to there's go no way, mode. Yeah. yeah, we're best buds. We're pros. There's no way they're letting a woman on that set. Oh, he's like, hey, bro, you want to go uh, go out after this and get a uh, like a hot chocolate wrestle? with marshmallows? We can anything? wrestle. Yeah, <laughs> it would be naughty. We could get marshmallows. <laughs> oh, God, oh, there's a lot of inside funny. jokes we're saying here, but if you guys are, are not on our Patreon, yeah. check it out, because We've been watching this shit since like season one with following it. Yep. And we've gotten a few good gems of inside jokes yeah. on this shit. Okay. Little truly. So it never really went beyond that. Gwendolyn looks hot in that picture. Oh, Gwendolyn looks so hot. She's got the yeah. banging body and just very large. She's like stew. Gwendolyn has always Stacked. had a very interesting posture. Like, I yeah, think she's even like when she's on the couch, she's always like, something. I yeah. know, it's almost, yeah, I always, I've always wondered about that. Whenever she's on the couch, she's always sitting super upright. Yeah, she looks great in that photo. Holy cow. Oh, yeah, all of Christine's kids are gorgeous. I mean, yeah, the Kelty's annoying, but she's still gorgeous. <laughs> Tony, on the other hand. Oh. I'm glad that she's not broken hearted about the divorce and even somewhat shocked in a way, even in spite of how much she loves this house and everything, I'm sort of shocked in a way that she's not more devastated by the divorce than, than moving. I, I wish I could get him to stay. But she doesn't know I, you. I don't understand, really. And Christine may have told me ten times. I don't understand why she needs to move. We're going to be back from... <laughs> You're an idiot. Isabel, in a couple of weeks, we'll be back home again. When we get back home, Gwen's moving out a few days after that. So, did you want us to move your stuff into the master bedroom so you have it at least for like until we move? Ooh. You can have the master bedroom here until we move after oh. one moves out. It might be a couple weeks. I'll be fine. I'll be. You don't fine. want to? Yeah, I'm fine with not having the master. Okay. And also, since I'm making ramen, I gotta go. Oh gosh. Okay. Sounds good. <laughs> yeah, that's my girl. Okay, I I mean, can me and my mom like burst out <laughs> laughing. Listen, this I, is such a kid thing where they're like, oh, okay, like, I got it. Like, let's just wrap it up. You're like, over talking. I'm making ramen. Now. Yeah. That ramen's yeah. like soggy at this point. Also, I just yeah. love the like nuance of the fact that she's making so ramen cute. when everyone makes fun of Cody's hair looking like ramen. <laughs> she's like, speaking of dad, I forgot. I got that ramen on the stove. Oh, well, you reminded me. Go. Ramen. Yes, ramen. <laughs> Oh, that's so good. How cute is Truly, though? Do you take back everything you ever said about her? Yes. Well, well no. She was a, she was a little a much as a kid. I, I, again, now she was like a I feral know child. Why, right. I only knew what I knew. Okay, I only knew what I knew. And what, what is going on here? But that's good. You look um, great. Okay, let's see. Christine's gonna get excited about moving now. Oh, sorry. I was just looking at the comments. I was getting yes. excited about moving, and that's what I'm looking forward to too. Is starting to make plans on what we're going to do once we move, and we get a shift to that now. Start talking about getting excited for moving. It's a bittersweet relief, but it's a relief. You know, I've got my journal. And I'm gonna here. go ahead. <laughs> you know, like twenty seconds. To blame. So now we're at twelve twelve. Are you caught up? Mm-hmm. Yep. All right. We're going beaker face says that in that one extreme close up it looks oh, like sorry. Cody has um some new has some new balayage. balayage. What's balayage? Oh a monta. Like highlights where you almost like I have like natural oh, balayage going on right here. He's officiating a wedding beaker face. Mm. He's gotta look his best. My mom said he must get perms. But no, I know curly he, girl method. That's yeah, curly girl he, method. He, he taught truly, remember at Aspen's wedding, I think he like taught truly how to do her hair with like mousse. Uh, yeah, well, this it's a whole thing, but he's absolutely 100% because I did curly girl method like a year or so ago in the summer. And it, it's, I mean, he's got some natural waves there. I guess he's embracing it, but he just needs to buzz it all off. Aw, Allison, you're so sweet. 
Thank you for the tip, Allison. You make doing dishes so much better. There's nothing I like more than listening to a podcast and doing dishes. So Mm. thank you. Mm. Um, Suzanne, Susan, Suzanne says, I'm Montreal based. Love you, ladies. I wait patiently for your sister lives. Take. Thank you. Sweet. All right. Are you ready to get to Oklahoma? Oh, get ready. He's about to officiate the shit out of this world. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait. That's a base with us. Tulsa, Oklahoma. My dear friend Brian is getting married and I'm performing the wedding. And I currently performing the wedding. Okay. Are you seeing this now though? Because this was gonna go on for a few minutes. And like it is so he is he is he coked is out. He, He's stealing my soul. What is that? He's stealing my soul. Get my face out of it. What the (laughs) hell? That is scarier than the Jesus painting my grandma had on her nightstand that used to follow me around the house. But like when you, if you did like a a selfie video, would you stare directly into the camera part? Because like, I feel like most people don't. They kind of no, stare but I think like he's feeling off. his curls because he's got like one thick tendril on this side. He's got like a he's real really nice one it. right here. Yeah, he's feeling like he's got a good hair day, so he wants it like right up there. He this found himself some good lighting. He's perfect. Is my lighting better now? It's like I feel like I was getting you dark. Look beautiful. I never look wonderful. Haven't got the wedding vows written, and I'm struggling to not go blank. I'm in a panic because as I was driving here. Yeah, just do, just read love is patient, love is kind. And be yeah, do he, doesn't he know Mr. Uh, priest of the family? Doesn't he know enough Bible verses and stuff? He's had four weddings. You can't come up with something. No, because he had a faraway glance, a faraway stare. It. Judy. Officiating a wedding. Google, that's it. <gasps> oh, Ooh, this is interesting. Um, NY... Limot727 says, Logan and Michelle got married yesterday. So curious what Cody said during his toast. And Melanie mm. Baker says, do we think Cody bothered to attend? Was he invited is more the question, I'd say. Oh, I'm sure they were invited. It, it, actually, there was speculation whether Mary went or not because Mary's on some like 10 or 11 day vacation. But she did say something like she took a little detour or part of her road trip. So I'm sure they all went. Cause I don't think Logan likes drama. I think he was just like, oh, you're all sure. coming. You're going to shut up. You're going to show up. Debbie says the, the, the double Cody image was a sensory overload. Yeah, sorry, <laughs> <laughs> My horse face in between. Like <laughs> we, we both, we both held our image of Cody up to the screen Oof. at the same time. All right, yeah, here we go. This? There's going to be a lot of talk about him just being like, what am I going to say? What am I going to say? Oh my God, is that that hard? I knew that I would be able to, I'd have time to think about wedding, about the bliss and the beauty. Of- he had a 17 hour drive, by the way, where he could have been. Out. Yeah, I thought he got like focused and zoned like into something. I was in the zone. He's going to focus on the bliss and the beauty of marriage. Ah, yes. Yeah. So he has a lot of going to disagree with all that uh, all right. marriage and all that stuff so i knew that i'd be able to come up with some great stuff but i didn't i, I made that whole trip stewing about my own marriage falling apart i mean i'm still in this pretty bad place about it Brian and Judith haven't really given me much to work with. Hi, I, on a drug. Uh, I'm sort of lost on what I should say and what I should do for their sake. I think he's just in full rage. I don't think I've ever had that look in my eyes. He this clearly look. is like ADHD. Yeah, yeah. Look, we're at, both look on the at him again here. <laughs> Sorry, guys. This is like live PD or something. Jeez. It's like time, ADHD it's high. Past. I preached from the pulpit, so to speak, and they did ask me to say something. And he's just not blinking. Something. And so I am literally drawing a blank. So when we moved to Vegas from Utah, we were kind of forced to start doing church services in our home. We were talking about how we have been apart. I always love watching them perform church services in the house because the kids are always like, oh, oh God, God. fuck this. Like always on her phone, like, yeah, yeah. I, I, I think she do. She's always pissed off. 
The I want to hear it. Yeah. Yep. And not being in the same homes. And the moms and I have talked a lot about how we've struggled to maintain our family culture. Then he was asked to officiate for Maddie and Caleb. And I think he really liked that. I know that it was a very yeah. special experience for him. Yeah, because he got to be the center of fucking attention for his boyfriend, his, his real yeah. life lover. He like climaxed when he was giving that ceremony. Do you remember he had on a kilt and he was like flipping it up? He's like, that Whoa. was Mitch. That was with Mitch. Oh shit. Okay. Well, whatever. Um, I will just never, I was thinking of this in my head though. Like the amount of times we've seen Cody cry is few and far between. One was when he thought that Solomon was going to be a, um, trigger warning miscarriage he oh, cried right. on the couch mildly he was just like <gasps> he just needed yeah. to take like a second and then mm -hmm. another time was when they thought they might not get the houses in vegas because robin was so in debt he cried a little bit there wait what do you mean oh, she was she sure she, she yeah, was like sure. a single mom she was killing it she was doing like, it all doing the best yeah. suzanne thank you for the super sticker Aww. seven dollars yes you guys are supporting our kids and by kids i mean um oh look look speaking oh, of which oh, oh my retreats. god she's here the <gasps> shmurgle oh you guys just don't look at her straight in the eyes okay hi i stink i feel like you just use the litter <laughs> box go away all right Ew, <laughs> gross. Yeah, gross. um but what, what, the hardest you ever see Cody cry is when they move to Flagstaff and he says goodbye to Caleb. He has his arms around Caleb and he is sobbing. He does like a days of our lives, like Stefano. Oh, he's sobbing. Marlena, like, I love <laughs> Sniffing his hair. Oh, he just wants Make to sure get in there. Please oh. visit. Visit Austin. Awesome. Visit often. <sighs> All right, let's race. You just stay there. All right. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. In Inga knew what I was going to say. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Crying when he said goodbye to Caleb. Yep. Uh, God, you, he's got it so that? hard for Caleb. Oh, Lena, thank oh, you for the $10. Lena. Please. It's okay. We're still, oh, we're not even halfway through the episode. So uh, okay. we're, we're giving you content. Okay. We're trying. We're trying here. Oh, this All is fun. Right. I love it. No, I love this. In me as a steward of the almighty God in the name of the eternal Messiah, this pronounce is husband wedding, and wife. Way. Now kiss each other as a token sealing this covenant. Uh, button up your shirt, sir. <laughs> yeah, I, I can't watch Caleb. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. and Mrs. Caleb Rush. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, for the first time ever, Mr. and Mrs. Philip, Philip Vance. <laughs> exactly. Okay, now I have an irrational hatred of Caleb just for some reason. I just don't like him and I don't like his stinky baseball hats that he wears. Oh, because you know he's like 10 years like older sweat. than her? He met, he met her when she was still basically it a child? might have been a little bit of grooming. Oh, for Latrice's college fund, that's amazing. Oh, thank you, Ames. <laughs> $10 for Latrice's college fund. Yeah, she needs it. She needs it. Yeah, producer, right. you're there. Wow. Oh, God. That sounded like almost like he was speaking in tongues through the Almighty Father and the Messiah. God, he freak. His bust he, was buttoned all the way down to talking. where the vest. Ew. He he's just like not, he's be like, not good at it. Um, you kiss her real good. Kiss her. Kiss her. Oh. Kiss her. Kiss her. He's, yeah, he's not good at public speaking. Because he makes he's good at himself. Right, but he's good at speaking to a camera like Michael Scott. I mean, mm -hmm. the comparison is very valid. He's good at speaking to a camera because he can just really kind of like turn himself off. But in public, he freaks the fuck out. He does it this wedding too. Mm -hmm. Oof. Oh, hang on. And I'm not really sure 100% where Cody is spiritually, but he still really enjoys this role of officiating at a wedding. <laughs> Uh, boy, I'm at a loss. I am drawing Jesus, blank right now. Like that. Okay, are, are you noticing that TLC is like Shh, him, and then they'll do a full God. zoom in like this? It they is keep like, zooming it. They know what they're doing. Yeah, they do. It's scary. Yeah, they know. To, I'm literally they know they got inspiration trying to make this work. How interesting! I'm sure he's told Brian that I'm leaving him. So how interesting that he's officiating a wedding when his own marriage is, <laughs> has failed. I mean, his and Mary's oh. marriage isn't great, and mine and his is over. And I don't know how his and Janelle's is. I know it's been rocky. Well, maybe that'll give, have him give great, you know, wedding advice. I don't know. That's so shady, and I love yeah. it. 
<laughs> what not to do. Um, Stephanie just said, my, my eight-year-old said, why do you love Amanda and Jody so much when they're talking bad about your family? Oh, no. <laughs> Little it's, mini no, Stephanie. It's everyone's favorite and least favorite show. Stephanie yeah. needs to, or your eight-year-old needs to learn this young so that she becomes like watching, just as snarky uh, as the rest of us. Yeah. Just like if she was watching like Blippy now or something and be like, ooh, cringy. I'm actually getting a little bit nervous. And it's not like me to be nervous when I have to perform. Um, <laughs> maybe sometimes I get nervous. I don't know. But I've got to write something down because I've got to make it concise. I've got to get to the point because they don't want along. Anyway, here's praying for inspiration. I'm sh you, when do you think oh, you found what out? What are you talking about? When like, did you find oh, out about this wedding? Oh, six months six ago. Six months. Six months. <laughs> yeah. And he's, I mean, this is very Amanda. He has been out on Coyote Pass chipping away at that log. He's been busy. $200 an hour oh, on. He's, uh... been, he's been peeling those logs. How come he's like, are you and they're rolling three perform? inches away and back. Is he uh, like debuting on Broadway? For like the, uh, he's the like Phantom the of the Opera. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. The music of the night. Oh, can you imagine? Oh, oh he loves Phantom. He would love Phantom. Because he basic. <laughs> so I am pulling up to Ryan's ranch. And uh, the wedding is actually in Tulsa at a venue. <laughs> uh, and I am uh, about what Horny? I told two thirds prepared. He says, I'm about what I'd call two thirds prepared. I'm sure Brian's really going to appreciate that on the eve of his fucking wedding. Yeah, that go, you're, oh, that's that great, you're stressed great. out. Great. Like Cody's, it's because it's about Cody. Cody's going to be like, Brian, I don't know. What, what am I going to do? What am I going to And Brian's like, I got other shit to worry about. Yeah. You were supposed to come prepared. I told you six months ago. Right. And during COVID-19. Really we talk about these stupid ass vows. We just want to get it over with so we can get to the food. Exactly. No one really gives a shit. No one's paying attention during this. Oh. Yeah, you know, nobody's ever paying he attention. He is giddy during. driving up to see Bri uh, oh. Brian. And like, and then hit him to the camera. He's like, he's so guys, right now. God, so oh God, I'm two thirds prepared. He just thinks he is such a comedian. Yes. Or with the vows. I'm telling you. I'm he's working those sunglasses too. I yeah, on and off, right on now. and off. I asked Brian when I got here, he says, I don't know. These two want me to make it special. I drove here, you know, like decrying marriage and and the foolishness of it. What was what that? Is, uh, what was that on? moment that just happened, you guys? I don't even know. I don't know what that meant. I don't know. Having what... a psychotic break. <laughs> yeah, that was nuts. But it's a funny story. It's so funny. It's so funny. Oh. <laughs> God, he's like, it's so like scary. decreeing there. <gasps> it was like fucking soiling <laughs> green as humans. It's showtime at the <laughs> Apollo for Cody. Anywhere he goes, he thinks he's just, uh, he's bringing the noise, bringing so the comedy. Hey, yo. <laughs> he's a regular Nick hey, Liger. Where's Brian? Uh, oh, all right, I'll go find him. If I stutter through this thing and do the worst job ever, I'm only partly to blame. Yeah, are we going to be comfortable smelling like barbecue at the wedding? No, I'm going to. We're going to change, but but man, use the marriage license right now. Yeah, oh, that's a good idea. Get me that marriage license. Ooh, they're about to do the marriage license. <sighs> at what stage of boner does Cody have right now? Oh, because he's on the barbecue now. Mm -hmm. He's manning that grease. Yeah, he's doing what bros do, what men do together. Man meat. Just sharing some man meat. <laughs> like when 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 he was ignoring Truly, who was dying of kidney failure, right? Yeah. Remember that? Mm -hmm. Remember that? Was this before or after he was taking a nap? Oh that no, this is way before because the women, the woman were out of town trying to get material for the dresses. Oh, when he was just and babysitting his kids. He was right? making all of the meat for the whole oh, week. week. Yeah. Right. But then yeah. truly stubbed her toe and he was like, I'm a fucking hero. And he took mm. her in the bath and was like mending her wound, which was like, okay, wash it under hot water, put a band-aid on it, you're fine. Then he forgot about all the steaks and they all uh, were ruined. Probably oh, six hundred bucks worth of why? Cause I'm sure he always like cooks the food and stuff, right? Oh yeah, he, no, he, he always helps prep for the week. Grill. 
he's okay, good yeah. at the grill. He let us know that. I remember that so episode. Curious. He just kept flipping the burgers. And it's like, if you know how to flip a burger, you really should only have to flip it once. Right. And he's like pressing down on it like hard. Oh, yeah. Just like squeezing all the juice out. Mm. Right. And he doesn't like pepper, right? Doesn't he hate pepper? Oh, yeah. Like black pepper. Yeah. Or, or he does. Like, he only likes black pepper. He doesn't like salt. Because no, Robin made no. eggs one time. He was, didn't like pepper. Well, either way, his know. his meat is definitely under seasoned. Ew. He probably eats a steak with like ketchup. Oh, and it's well done. Oh, well. It is great. Like, you yeah. are like sawing through it. Uh-huh. Yep. Man, meat. <laughs> Oh, there we go. Okay, excellent. Legit. All right, cool. Well, I am now in possession of the marriage license. And I'm going to somehow fuck this up for my friend. Yeah. (laughs) This isn't a big deal, Cody. Now we're at 1631, 16 minutes and 31 seconds. We're going to check out his sexy friend uh, who's going to tell us about his, um, like, teen bride. I met Cody about 26 years ago at a sporting event. A gun show. He introduced his wife to me and his little boy, which was Logan. And then a month or so later at another event, his wife shows up and it was Christine, a different wife. I remember then a couple months later at another event, he said, oh, yeah, my wife's going to swing by. You know, in comes Mary. So at that point, I'm like really suspicious. This guy's changing lives like people change shirts. You know, something's going on. I said, hey. You introduced me to three different women as your wife. He kind of sat there for a minute. He goes, well, I have three wives. And I said, as long as I don't have to have three wives, I can live with that. I I know. Take him on the road with Larry the Cable Guy. And uh, I mean, how do these two find each other? Two these guys, professional comedians, found each other. Oh my god, how do people keep it together when they're hanging out with these guys? Wow, hilarious! God, you know, back then, Cody was just like, couldn't wait for someone to ask him. He's yeah. purposely rotating the wives because he's like, Oh, oh yeah, for someone yeah. to ask me, I, I'm, I'm oh not gay. I'm totally oh my god, <laughs> yeah, totally straight. I'm not drunk to metal. Oh. Four times. <laughs> okay, I admit the day I uh, married Janelle. She was my first plural wife, okay, and uh, I was asked how I felt, and I said, well, I feel as nervous as a three-legged cat on a hot tin roof. <laughs> I, I hate this. I, I hate this so much. I hate it. I need to write that down and use that in my daily life because, I, wow! Ew. Like, does he get his jokes from like Paula Dean or something? Like I feel like he's gonna say something like like he a gets hand his, on a June bug or something. He gets like. his no, he's getting his jokes from like the racist era of Disney from like the twenties. Oh god, <laughs> god. And this, guys, this is his best material. This is his oh, A game. Ryan's he's, cracking he's up even though. for his bros. Yeah. Oh yeah. What do you your face? Going- oh. Oh, sorry. Oh, uh, wait, wait. No, we can raise this. Like, wait, what, was this what I'm looking? Oh, yeah. Not for nothing, but this guy was his friend for 26 years and had no idea he was a polygamist. <laughs> yes. so, yeah. like, Jesus. Unbelievable. Oh, it's my like, gosh. And I've gone down on you, so that doesn't oh, make sense. God. Oh, God. Um, wait, hold on. I was going to say, what do you think Cody's favorite movie is? Oh, oh, wait, hold on. Um, I had a really random one flip into my head. Uh, it, it's coming to me. Hold on. Um, um, mine was field, wait, oh, mine is field of Dreams. No. <gasps> uh, oh, he definitely, yeah, because he's got the hots for Shoeless Joe Jacks. Or Shoeless yeah, Joe and like, And then also the daddy issues that kind of exist in there. Yeah. No, not Lethal Weapon. What's the one with like Leslie Nielsen, you guys? What, um, naked Gun. Naked Gun. Yeah. Oh, he likes Naked Gun because oh. OJ is in it and OJ Simpson kills it. That's like his hero. And I feel like he would use that um, Don't Call Me Shirley joke. Oh, 100%. He loves that joke. Airplane. He doesn't really get it, though. Airplane is too much for Cody. That's like that comedy is beyond him. He doesn't get it. But I think he definitely likes like he absolutely thinks <laughs> that OJ Simpson is a comedic genius. I know. Oh, for sure. Jasmine says Song of the South. <laughs> is his favorite. 
You guys, these, okay. These that are was good. good. That was good. Just, Caddyshack, dude, where's my car? Spartacus. Weekend at Bernie's, Rambo, The and Notebook. The Ernest goes to jail. <laughs> Cody's books. Cody's movies. Oh, we get we get a replay of that in this, by the way. Song of the South. Oh, <laughs> is oh my God. Oh, okay. <gasps> Justin, with the sports ball facts. Here we go. <laughs> Former Buffalo Bill. Jesus Christ, Justin. Guys. Amanda thinks OJ's innocent, so... I No, I think Scott Peterson is innocent. Oh my God. <laughs> Just kidding. I don't think anyone is innocent. I don't think any man is innocent of anything. Okay. Unless, unless okay. they're gay, okay, probably. Bridesmaids? No, he's not smart enough to like bridesmaids. Oh, no, bridesmaids. Because it has all those women, those loud women. Ooh. And bridesmaids passes the Bechdel test, so he does not watch movies that pack the pass the Bechdel test. Yeah, or like uh oh we gotta think of some more. Silence of the Lambs Lin Linda Case. <laughs> what are those ones with like Jackie Chan and that one guy? There was like a whole series of them. It's like the comedy they're driving through. I know on, I guys. Know. I feel like Rush he Hour? Yeah, I think he likes those. Fools Russian. Yeah, just all these basic beige movies. Yeah. Rush hour, Rush dumb, hour. dumber. Again, Inga, I don't mm. believe that he likes Dumb and Dumber because I think that's actually a really funny movie. Robin would let him play that because that's really crude. That oh, I don't like that bathroom, oh. that potty humor, Cody. Mock, yeah, bird, yeah. Have you seen that? What is that? King. From? It's from Dumb and Dumber. Mocking oh. bird, yeah. Every everybody's heard. Uh, you He's know what else that's from? <laughs> What vacation with Chevy Chase? Uh, I've never seen. I know. I know you're a huge Chase head. He's got I, great politics, as right, far as I've heard. Right, right, right. <laughs> oh, Three Stooges for sure. I don't he think gets... he's smart enough to like Three Stooges, though. Mm. Nothing with the plot. Yes, this is a good point. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm okay. Really... All right, let's go. Yeah. I'm enjoying this conversation, though, guys. Yeah, I'm... I know we could totally fanfic Cody out. So but my fun. favorite is Song of the South. My dad took me to that in the movie theaters when they re-released it in 1988, and he said I I just wandered around the theater the whole time. Didn't make a noise. I just wandered around. But then when the animation was on, I'd go and like watch. Hmm. I wasn't all that. You know, deep south into racism. Slavery. Yeah. <laughs> into slavery. <laughs> oh, God. All right. Uh, Charlton Heston go. movies, Inga says. Okay. Mm -hmm. We can go on oh, forever. <laughs> I'm about to officiate his marriage. I, there's a there's a there's something gnawing on me. Am I supposed to stop you from doing this? <laughs> Uh, no, that's not what he asked you to do. Am He's I like walking to in front of this guy too? It's his wedding day. That's about him. No, it's about him. It's about you him. shut up. It's this guy's questioning wedding. whether he was the best guy to talk at a wedding when he was struggling so much in his relationship. He would bring that up often with me in conversation because he feels like it's a little bit of a failure that he that there's this marriage is falling apart. Yeah, yeah. I know that he's in a he's been in a dark place. This wedding is also kind of depressing to me. It's like in a church basement. And we've like seen worse. Gym. I mean, we saw Janelle, Mary, Janelle's wedding. That one shot of them cutting the cake in the pictures from below. Yeah. And she got her arms like at like a fucked up angle. And she's got her big old 80s glasses on. She had oh. to wear like a carpal tunnel brace the next day after that picture. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> God. Okay, let's hear from, from Robin. Mm. You know, he was like, maybe Brian's just making a mistake getting married. And I was <gasps> like, what? Don't do that. <laughs> he looks at me kind of sideways and he's like, <laughs> I, mean, I cannot believe that I asked him. But he looks at me sideways and he says, Cody, this is about to happen. And I'm like, okay. I mean, you're like, you're sure, right? You're sure you're supposed to marry her. He's like, I'm sure, man. It's it's okay. I'd be like, uh, can I get an emergency person? <laughs> it's a pretty was funny story. Wheezing over that. Oh no, he was, he was cracking himself up. If my officiant said to me, wait, but Amanda, are you sure? I'd be like, can I get like a Are different... you sure she's the one? Are you sure he's the one? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Ames oh says, uh, is there a gas leak somewhere, Cody? Yeah, like, 
That's right? exactly what it, he's fucking, but this is what I said to my, cause my mom and my mom and I were both like, what the fuck? And I was like, yeah. cause his producer is doing his job. And you know, his producer heard him tell that story earlier. And he's like, Cody, you need you, to retell that. You guys it was so, so funny. funny. So All good. of us were cracking it, up over it, lunch hour. It, yes. Wait, it, wait, it, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> America, yeah, yeah. Slapper, America right. is going to love you this season. Oh, Don't worry. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. <sighs> oh, God, I love this. All right, I'm going ahead 20 seconds. I'm about it. to. We are at 18 minutes and 51 seconds. We are in Tulsa, Oklahoma, which mm. I did not know existed. She, my good friend. <laughs> wait, Tulsa, Oklahoma. Yeah. Oh, wait, no, no, no. So that's not, yeah. So why is he in Texas then? Because my mom Oklahoma. said, oh, maybe maybe he's in Tulsa. Maybe there's like a Tulsa in Texas. But are they close to each other? Get get the, get the, get the map out. Care get the Shemita. map out. So All right, so Texas. where's... Uh-huh. There's Oklahoma. I don't know about that. I feel like Oklahoma's way up there. No, I told you. Utah, someone moved. It used to be up here. Right, someone but I'm picturing... Down here. Oklahoma's in the middle. What's the... Where, is that Tennessee? Kansas? Okay, I'm uh, higher. Illinois. The one, the one above Kansas, the one above Kansas, Nebraska. That's Oklahoma. Mm. I'm pretty sure of it. No, Oklahoma looks like the pan. And I'm here. Not you think Chicago land is Michigan, but I'm actually here. That's yeah, all the same stuff. Um, yeah. Okay. So, uh, someone said, uh, do, 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 Melanie Baker, do we trust a Canadian with U.S. geography? No, you shouldn't trust me with Canadian geography. Um, <laughs> apparently. Uh, Ooh, oh, 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 love this. Yeah. Uh-oh. Oh, I mean, first 48 head over here. Love that show too. And love it. Miami. The old one, season one. <sighs> love it. Okay. Um, oh, let's Are go. you ready yeah. to walk? Also, this is his starring oh, moment. He is, his dick is almost hard. If, if, if it could get hard, which it probably okay. can't. Okay. Brian's marriage. I don't know what to say. I, I haven't put it together yet. And my thoughts so far about marriage, ironically, have been mixed. Oh. And it's crazy that I'm here performing this wedding basically crazy, Amanda, a wedding crazy. is a beginning and it's supposed to be a poetic invocation and in my own view but it's not about you like it has nothing to do with your feelings yeah you're there to sign a paper basically oh my god get over yourself Jesus. jack wagon says i don't know you know what baker asked but jack wagon who clearly is a long-term listener of us says the school of Love excellence, you. y'all's is. Mm. <sighs> they have the same sense of humor, Leah and Cody. You are, you are Bay. Oh, Leah and Cody for sure. My okay, invitation okay, watch the is to have a couple that's in love bring God into their relationship so that their relationship is stable, eternal, and. Um, no, uh, you yeah. Is he going to cry? And I. You know, I, yeah. I'm, I'm hoping I can pull this off. off. Like, um, yeah. <laughs> He's going on. down. Oh, there she is. Okay. Right. This is okay, his this is sweetheart. About you. All right, but also this, this woman, is this is not, a, I think this is a 90 day fiance situation. And I'm not saying that because she looks like she's, you know, not American necessarily. I just don't, can't imagine how these two found each other. Gun show? I don't know. Why would she be this at a gun very show? awkward? I just don't like this whole stage thing. Yeah. And, and Aww. And for 10, 15. Um, are you nervous? Are you nervous? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I am. Oh my! He's very nervous God. about doing it. You know, he do You know, he's always had issues in his marriage. Where, like any marriage, there would be times when there's problems. But I don't think he saw it coming to an end. You know, thinking about someone telling you that they're leaving put a lot of concerns. You know, about his family, what was going to happen with his kids, and how is this going to work out, and how do we deal with all this? Just like we, uh, oh my God. Ever heard me this. I get extremely creative, so I screwed myself. 
Okay. I hate this. And this is something I know I can pull off. I am still shocked <laughs> that Brian and Judith wanted me to do it. You I mean, he made a self-deprecating I, joke. That was something. I don't like this. By the way, He's thank you, Joe Grubeck. Yes. Joe Grubeck yes, just gave you. us a five dollar tip. Thank you. Don't immediately yes, just get on with the ceremony. You could do this at the reception. Do a toast. You can this print is, out like a literal, like not a spreadsheet. What am I thinking? Like a script. A script. Bullets? What? A, what's the word I'm thinking of? Um, a pro, not a prototype protocol. Like if you just like have like a uh, squares script. and you fill it in. No, that's not the An word outline. I'm Almost outline, but that's not what I'm thinking. I was going to come to me later. Okay. Nope. Something I'm used to doing. I used to be a minister. I am the high priest of my own family. <laughs> but, oh. but I'm also a failed priest. I've been defrocked. I got a wife leaving me. <laughs> That is pretty funny, Cody. I tell you, he's the high. Also, when he said he's the high priest of his own family, good lord. Oh, ew, gross. You know he like template. That's the word, template. Thank you, Leah Ashley. People, cue sheet, Mad Lib, flow sheet, a rubric, bingo card. (laughs) Template. That's the word I was thinking. Those are amazing bingo cards. (laughs) <laughs> oh my god i would be cringing as the bride i'd be like oh my god please please just like get back on track get back on track please please because then you're left standing there just yeah. be like uh, with this man you've know. probably met like a few times like now you're doing now you're forced into an improv skit with this pastor or whatever yes and freeze michael scar freeze <laughs> You guys like the office? There's a, there's a baby that went and then in the and then in the in the uh closed captioning said captions. baby fussing an audience. Fussing. They wanted they wanted they wanted deaf people to know that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look at this son. It must be his her son on the side is like, oh god. How much longer do I have to stand up here? I really don't like being the center of attention. Joe oh, Grubeck Joe said, Grubeck, you're so sweet. To you two are hilarious. I look forward to your videos on Sundays after church on brunch. That's what we're here Ooh, for. Brunch sounds That's delicious what we're here for. right now. Yeah. Too. Okay, wait, hold on. Sorry. I, I just yeah. need to, let me just get a general opinion of this high-low bridal gown. I kind of like it. I think she looks really pretty. Yeah. I don't like a high low situation. I just think it's a little outdated. I like I had a lot of dresses like that in like 2012 through 2014. But okay. I think she looks beautiful. Yeah, I mean, she's a beautiful say, woman. Typically, I don't really like the high low, but I could see how it would fit this occasion, like a smaller, where it's almost like that, almost retroy length right around the, I don't know, like the mid calf. Okay, let's see. Oh God, is it going to get seems, worse? Kind of seemed like a rushed wedding to me. <laughs> So let's start this. with this. When you marry somebody, you can't ask them to change. You can't push them to change. You can't need them to change. I really disagree with that. Uh, I was going to say, I, I kind of disagree with that. I think because that you you're, saying, you're going together. to change. Yeah, you're going yeah, to change. You're going to change. You're a, a human that has experiences as you grow together and as a person so yeah no you're going to be changing right this is c- coming from me who's had three wildly unsuccessful major relationships well not brad i guess i think that's part of a relationship is like you yeah, change you're have to, yeah like okay i maybe need to maybe not like as a person but compromise at least yeah what the hell is he talking about don't take his advice yeah don't, don't oh, listen to cody it's basically what it is uh, yeah I, you just, know what he should have just done? He just should have gone, I would give everything I own. Give you my world, my oh, heart, my own. That was Cody and Mary's just wedding song you. was Bread. Bread? Yeah. Yep. Mm. Would we do Brian? No. I feel like he would we have do, a very intense I, I wouldn't do any man. 
I don't do people anymore over it. <laughs> you have to accept them as who they are. Too many times people marry with with uh, a oh, hope okay. that this marriage, this person becomes what you need. Easy. Success in marriage is not always about love. It's about communication, understanding, and agreement. You must willingly negotiate. <laughs> Cody, that's rich. <laughs> he rushed through that. It's about like commitment, consideration, communication. You willing to negotiate. Compromise. Cody's Cody's advice to this new couple Ooh. is: you need to be willing to negotiate. Cody is giving this negotiation is not about compromise. Uh, but isn't it? Isn't negotiation about compromise? Like you both come, you're negotiating things that you come to. A compromise? No? Okay, let's see what else is got. not about compromise. Yeah, the same word. Look at my phone, what even takes some notes. I think they're, they're the same word, really. Your partner is seeking a win settlement in a situation where you're both winning. A couple gets married and they have different goals even after they're married. And so what they have to do is like, here, baby, let me help you get your goals. Would you help me get mine? I am right. Oh, well. I don't like this. With my lover and wife, Judy. Nope. Did you just say lover? This is Cody. With my lover and wife. Robinson, this is Cody. Um, Cody has a tendency sometimes to kind of wait till the last minute or when inspiration strikes. She really couldn't get that word out. When inspiration, inspiration strikes. strikes. She had a mild stroke in the middle of that word. That's okay. Um, yeah, we know that Cody waits till the last minute to do stuff, and he just kind of works on a whim. That's why he has four fucking bankruptcies to his name at this point. Mm -hmm. And four wives that are unhappy. Mm -hmm. And um, it stresses me out <laughs> a lot. Oh, it does. <laughs> <laughs> He does a pretty good job and he doesn't says things that other people only wish they could. <laughs> no, that's Excuse funny. No, yeah, no, that, funny. That was a good, Robin is actually the comedian of the family. I think <laughs> that's a good one. that was a good one. Rob. She kept a straight face the whole time and everything. Ooh, oh my God. He says things we only wish others could say. And that's people what got her to be a favorite wife. Like that's what got her to favorite wife. She says yeah. the crap that strokes his little tiny ego. Well, I mean, speaking of comedy, oh. she she does yes and better than anyone I've ever met in my life. Mm hmm. Well, she's also kind of slow too, but yeah, she's pretty slow. She couldn't really get that word out there. Um, why is he standing in a spot? He didn't move out of the way during the kiss, by the way. That's what. That really is like from the office. I hope Look how in love this couple is. Wow, the sexual tension just fucking. It's like he and Janelle. It's like, hey, if the spark's there, the spark's there. You can't hide it, you know? Ooh, and it's like yikes. contrast to him and Robin meeting, you know, like the first time we see Robin. <laughs> Down the hallway. <laughs> God, it's a moment. And what was fun of all the fun part of it, it was fun introducing them. They're very traditional. She wanted Brian's name. That was one of the things that helped me affirm. I get that crazy demon out of my head. And I got followed here by a demon, you know? And what she is, he is talking very about? much this. He is just, it's a stream of consciousness. They're a traditional couple. She wanted his name. Okay, not that crazy. Also, all of your wives have your name, including Christine, the one that you fucking hate so much. He was fucked that affirmed. Name, it. Maybe her last name was like Dingleberry or something, and his is Coldwell. Like it's just yeah. a better last name. Maybe she just wanted that. And oh yeah, I couldn't wait to change my name. Um, and then, yeah, there's a demon that followed me. Oh. Over here. Oh my god. Trish He's says, He's is, is, Robin, is Robin always a syllable away from slurring drunk? Yeah, and you, know, you guys are all suspicious of me, so if you mm. could just stop. I don't think she's drunk. Necessity. No, she's just a little I'm slow. taking my earrings out. It's just a little slow, you know? Um, 
Okay, God. So he didn't even step out of the way. They were waiting for him to be like, you may now kiss the bride. Go ahead down. But he, he actually says like, like it's your bride, kiss her. Kiss Ew, her. you kiss her. You kiss her real good. So Get in good. there. Get her. Oh, no. A perfectly supporting wife. And I think she was very excited about me introducing. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. She seemed, she was just eluding and just excited. Like, could oh, not God. wait to have Cody say that. Can you do okay. the, I almost, uh, what's his name? Azin. Oh, because that was pretty much her expression. When Nicole kisses him. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Talk about ninety day fiance. <laughs> this <laughs> is her. Oh She's like, here we go, god. Mr. and Mrs. Brian Colwell. So look at this, Jody. Jody, 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 are you watching this? Oh. Ooh, I don't like him dancing with that woman. This is his step, he though. He does, he does like, he does a step ball chain, step ball chain. That's his only dance move that he knows. He does it with Christine at McKelty's wedding. He's doing it with Robin in that aggressive wait, video wait, wait, that we what's saw. What's step ball change? Like, dun 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 Is that what like he's dancing waltz? with the lady? Like, yeah, that's what his feet were doing. Dun, 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 what was dun, the thing dun, before dun, that? It looked like Jersey Shore. Right? I don't know what the fuck that was. That was oh, like, yeah, yeah. Wait, you guys, yeah. okay, I know this is like not the best. There's like, oh, your ring light's showing though. Hold on, hold on. Let's, let's, let's see if it'll look at that guy in the back with his pants. <laughs> He's got a little diapery uh, pants there. Like John Hamish. <laughs> Queen Truly's Secret of Defense <laughs> says the Caucasian of this man. <laughs> yeah, that pretty much sums it up. Um, I mean, we're, we're pretty lame. Oh, Did you God, see that? Just, that oh, this is where I'm speaking. It's this horrible. is where me and my mom both burst out laughing. This is and, horrible. For and they ate they ADR this like music that clearly wasn't the music he was dancing to, but it was like it was like oh my god an off kilter like an off brand and canto well, why is he jumping that like that like jersey shore style like because he's getting everyone revved up baby Ew, i hate this so he's getting much. this party started it's rude it is so rude to be making yourself the center of attention like this also all the lights oh. are fully on in oh. this place that all makes the lights matter. All the lights. You can see exit signs akimbo. God, you know, this bride did not bargain. I bet you anything, this bride did not want the whole camera crew, didn't want Cody there. And freaking Brian, you know, because the traditional couple was like, oh, no, we're going to have Cody there. Or they were just like, let's give Cody, like... 10 minutes and then we'll get him the fuck out of here and then you guys can and that he but he didn't away. leave because he's gonna stay for the dance party because the there ain't no were there. like a brown dance party god. oh my god wow yeah. okay so i'm just oh, trying to see like how many people in this on. wedding so there's probably like what 50 to 70 people maybe if at this that point? i'd say 40 okay. to 50 all right let's see Knew that Cody was officiating a wedding, oh, and they told Gwen and Isabel. So Gwendolyn's mad. Yeah. Isabel's heartbroken. Oh my gosh. She went exactly there. She goes, How can he justify officiating Brian's wedding when he wouldn't even come to my surgery? Good question. So there's this overlying thing from Chris. And now if you're noticing in the clips that they're showing of him at the wedding, they show him dancing with some random stranger, this woman, when he's doing his little do si do thing. Uh, and then now he's like way up in Brian's face. And it's really just TLC showing us he's way in everyone's fucking face with no mask on. Look how but, close he's getting oh, to all these strangers. Uh, he was asked to officiate. What is he supposed to do? He's a man of God. He also, he also did decide himself that COVID was over. I mean, he that couldn't be point. rude. It would be, yeah, rude would be rude for him a, not to stay in. A that. man asked him to do I this. mean, his best friend. Ugh. 
God. His best. No, no mask why either. I can go to a friend's wedding, but I can't go to Isabel's surgery. Yeah. Isabel's surgery was at a time and a situation where it would have required that I'm six or eight weeks away from home. No, and I could be away false. from work, from home, and from family that long. Except you've been away from your entire family for longer than that, except for Robin's family. You've been away from Gabe and Garrison and Christine's family for six to eight weeks at a time. Right. And also, it's not no six to eight weeks. Christine had to care for her for six to eight weeks, but you would have had to go wherever it was, like Show was it, Connecticut up. or whatever, East Coast. New, New Jersey. New Jersey, show up, come back, get a COVID test, and then you could go home to Robin. And there were COVID tests at this time, because I remember Isabel's surgery was at the same time in 2020 that uh, my son was in the hospital. We were in the hospital for two weeks, and they were doing COVID tests, like the nasal swab thing. So he could have very well have tested to go back to Robin's. Yeah, and every, everyone's so agreeing with this in the chat. No, but Megan says nobody asked him to stay through the recovery. They just wanted exactly. Cody there for the surgery. Maria says all he had to do was go for the surgery and go home. Exactly. This is all. He's just. Oh. Exactly. Go for. Yeah, said. go for the surgery. Stay like two days, then head back. Any anything a day. Would have and also, been. he could still he could quarantine in Robin's fucking mansion because there's all these wings of the house. They had the test at the time. It's they like did? That wasn't a, and he could have gone for the recovery at Christine's house, but remember that was like a whole thing where he didn't want oh, to no, stay at Christine's. With the underage kids. No, he could have just gone. He gets all his exercise walking up Robin's stairs and Ooh, down her hallways. That's right. So he could have just had a wing. How Cody just has a reason for everything. It's not an excuse, you guys. It's a no. It's an not an excuse. Reason. It's because Robin makes it easy for him to have a relationship with his tender. Right. She age kid. she uh, facilitates it or encourages it. Yeah, and then Jesse here says. He couldn't take Isabel to college either because of COVID. He asked, will I, uh, the, I'll yeah, save the gas, gas stations. stations. Are, you fucking idiot. Gas stations were never closed. Were they closed for you? Well, no, he didn't want them going. The time. He didn't want them going in the gas station because they could catch COVID there. Oh my God, shut the fuck up. Yeah. <clears throat> I was gone for four days for Brian's wedding. That's it. And now I'm mad. What the <gasps> hell? Just you think you're going to go officiate your friend's wedding and not take care of your own family? I think she protesteth too much. That's one of my favorite things he says. Not a word. Because that's not what he, he thinks he's saying. He's, think, he's trying to reference the lady doth protest too much. Yeah, but he doesn't know. But he know. says, I think she protesteth too much. <laughs> that 100% came from Robin's mouth. Corny, I think she protests us so much. Mm -hmm. Protests us. You know, hold on. I think someone brought this up. I'm sorry. I'm probably... Oh, here, Sandra. Yeah, absolutely. He didn't want to go with Isabel because the attention would have been on Isabel. But going to the uh, wedding, he's da Bella da Bella da <laughs> Mr. Marriage. I can marry anyone here. You know, he was probably going around to tables like the bride and groom do, but he was going around like, hey, you guys having a good time? You having a good time? Like he's father of the bride. Like he's throwing the wedding. That Ugh. dancing that he did, his his hips must have hurt after that first part where he was just kicking like this. Oh, he was definitely sore the next day. Oh, he was like, oh, geez. Oh, uh -huh. God, Robin. Yep. Oh, man. She is trying to excuse herself by making me some kind of villain. I don't have to deal with him anymore. So I'm not married to him. The lack of love between us was for a reason. So glad I'm not. Because yes. I cannot respect this person anymore. Who he is and the choices that he's making, I cannot respect this man. This comment that she's making needs a mirror up in her face. Gosh. You? She raised all of your kids. All of them. Except for Solinari. How is what she's saying needs a mirror to her face? She's a fucking bitch. She what has she done that is opposite to her She word? doesn't appreciate what a man does in the world compared to her. Oh my god. 
I, I can't wait to rewatch this and process and all take this. it in. Yeah, I know. Times. I'm going ahead. 20 seconds. We're yeah, mm -hmm. we, we are at. Okay, get ready for this one. Guess what? Gabe's looking a little uh, worse for wear. Uh, here. He's got very womanly hips. Well, he's got his hair is longer than both of ours. Um, he's fine. My mom just goes, "Oh my god, he looks so much like his dad, Amanda." <laughs> Um, we're, we're at 25 minutes and 55 seconds. So I've gone back from Oklahoma. I've tested negative for COVID. Me and my mom at the oh. same time went, oh, thank God. Oh, good. <laughs> like everyone's over COVID. <laughs> Again, point. interesting that he could find out he was negative right away to get back to Robin and the kids. Oh, camp. weird. Yeah, that's weird. Now he could have done that mm. the whole time. Mm. Be around the rest of the family. And Janelle and I are getting together to uh, level the RV again. Oh, I want that shitter to overflow right on him. Because I, I don't know how to set it up to make sure it's going to be livable for a longer term. So basically what's happening here, Jody, is that Cody didn't set up the RV correctly the first what? time. What? What? <laughs> yes, that, that happened. He made a mistake once. Are you sure? Because I saw him out there rolling some logs around. He was chipping, chipping away at some logs and then he was backing he was backing up the RV way too quickly as Gabe and Garrison were like dad 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 wait but I mean that that can't be he has work gloves and a sun visor you mean to tell oh. me that man oh, with well, a sun visor and work gloves doesn't know he's how gonna to... he's gonna double down on this and let you know how stupid his fucking son is what an idiot oh. I know about RVs and no one else does I have a dress shirt on. Uh, he does. This he has a dress shirt on. A button-up, short sleeved, with a, a visor, full visor. Work and love the king. Sharp. Just take us ten minutes. Like yeah. So let me. Uh, have you figured out whether you can manually move each one of these? I think. I think we need. Yes, to but it's a very weird system. I'm really worried about messing up the electronics on it if we do that. Can we manipulate each leg nope. independently? Well, why don't we check? This is like when he, uh, when they I, I'm from getting Lehigh. changing the tire vibes. Yeah. <laughs> the well, I took a lug nut off, and then that broke. And then I took another one off and that broke. And then by the third time I took off a lug nut, I figured <laughs> like, this fourth one's probably going to break. <laughs> coming up. And then, I knew. I started suspecting. Yeah. When, when they blew, was it when they blew the first or second tire? When he went to Walmart before? There were four. And, yeah. Because and it was guy, Martin Luther oh. King Day. So it was, a, yeah. day, it was a day off too. He's like, I mean, the guy said you could put the tire on there. So uh, we're going to do it. It was like a 10 speed tire. He's trying to put on Janelle's Ford Taurus. It was so ridiculous. I remember when I was like in the throes of idiot. deep depression, when I like my ankle was like just starting to heal. That was what really bonded me and my mom. Like, I mean, we're, we're, we're best yeah. friends, but like watching that episode, because when they showed that flashback of the flea, the flea highest oh, surviving yeah. sister, I was like, she's yep. like, Oh, I remember that when all the tires popped, Amanda. Because he's an idiot. He doesn't <laughs> he's know how to. So Fucking, she's like, she's like, oh, it took them 16 hours to go four miles. It, she remembers. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No. yeah, we know. Should we check the level? Okay. I couldn't have anticipated <laughs> what this experience was going to be exactly like. I think it's the best of both worlds and the worst of both worlds. The There's a huge the learning curve, a huge yeah. adjustment to having to get all my electricity from a generator. I'm hauling my water by hand right now. What? She's hauling her water by hand right now. What happened to the cistern? Guys, yeah, what I know, happened I don't... to the cistern? I don't know, but Melanie Baker wants to know, does Carol, Carol, watch Sister Wives? Ah, she's seen one or two episodes. I showed her last season, uh, and she watched a couple of the same thing. She was like, ah. and, that, and all of these are his kids. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, I don't, I don't like that one. Or she'd be like, who's this one? With like Mc Mary would come out. Oh, okay. <laughs> no one likes McKelty. My mom, my mom's a, uh, my mom says that Tony and McKelty are just gross to her. <laughs> it's like, oh, they're just gross. You gotta play that wedding episode for them. What happened to the cistern? Didn't they spend like forty thousand dollars on this twenty thousand gallon cistern and now she's hauling water by hand? What the hell was going on with that cistern? Why did they park it closer to the cistern so she could get water? 
I guess that would make sense, but so, you know, we don't want to do that. Wow. Wow. That's it's, it's a lot of work to do the adjustment. Here, Gabe, I'm going to put this on the floor there. He's scrambling, man. Well, I think you're going to need to auto level it really quickly. We tried leveling the trailer That's once before scary. and it wasn't actually leveling. So the self level wasn't actually, it wasn't, it didn't seem level to me. No, no, we don't want to do the auto level. All right. So I, it's going to be hard to kind of hear this, okay. but what's going to happen here? Is that, is that Scout? Yeah. The rab, mm -hmm. rabbit outside? Yep. <laughs> got the bloodthirst. Um, okay. By the way, his he, level, he's got two levels. One of them's like, three three feet long to level right. a huge home okay but he's got gabe's about to say no i've been working on i've been auto leveling it every day and so okay. now because it's gonna be hard to kind of hear this just for anyone okay. who's just listen and then cody's gonna say oh well no you shouldn't be using we need to manual level it and then in a minute he, cody's gonna be like well gabe just turn the auto level on <sighs> shocking yeah, because now it's Cody's idea, so now it's right. Um, that's what this is. The auto level. Stop doing the auto level. The we, auto level is not doing we it. We did the auto level after the slides were out. I think it was a problem. I really, we really don't know what we're doing here. We sort of know, but we have no real idea. <laughs> don't hit auto level again. We want to manually level. Okay, Start manually. Wait, hey, that, I want a balloon under that tire. It makes me really awesome. Janelle, we can lower yeah. each one of these so that a tire's on the ground. Janelle's a trooper. She's amazing. Okay, so she's only a mile away from me now. She lives out on the property. Oh my gosh, so I see her all the time. She'll come over for coffee. She's come over for breakfast. She's been doing her laundry, okay? She's been doing her laundry in my house, which is, of course, great. Let's break that down for a second. Wait, 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 wait. Would it make more sense since Robin's like a stone's throw? Just gonna say it. You took the words right house. out of my mouth, yeah. No, do you know... She's gonna to touch the walls. Mm. I don't want her clothes mingling with my clothes because oh, in case she has yeah, COVID. Because no, no, no. the the children are of a tender age, they're gonna bring that dirt, that gross dirt from that, that like, gross outdoor dirt RV home. The Ew. prairie dog leg. Oh my god! So she goes to Christine's house, which is way further away. And this yeah. is the sacrifice that Janelle is making. She's hauling water. I picture her as like a milkmaid with like a yeah. stick over her with two buckets Like the of water. amazing race style. Right. Right. She's but going back and forth. Robin's living in a almost million dollar mansion. So that's cool for you, Robin. If that were me, if that were even just like an acquaintance, I may not love it. But I'd be like, why don't you know, on Sunday, drop off like two loads of laundry. I'll just throw them in. I won't like go through your stuff and I'll just like put them back in the bag and drop them off for you to be nice. We're just no. waiting until Cody takes her on a trip to Scottsdale to go to Victoria Secret at Scottsdale Fashion Square and right, just toss right, all right. your shit in there. Well, you don't have to worry about COVID there though. No, no. Arizona yeah, wasn't on Not spot. at the indoor mall. Mm, no, 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 they're they're pretty responsible down there. Do, do you think they again maybe Googled something like, hey, how do I level off my RV? No. Go on YouTube. Well, I do, I believe, I believe that Gabe probably did because Gabe is about to be like, I know what I'm doing. Cause I right. this is my mom and I spend every day with her. Yeah, I've been and here for the last I've week been... doing this. Yeah. So this is what's been working. This hasn't. Oh. Cody's older, Jody. Okay, we, we need to listen to the priest of the family. Okay, well, here we go. I always go out to the property and I sit there on what was going to be my lot and imagine us out there. So she does say what, what was, was going to be, be my, my lot. lot. So they must be in the midst of selling it at this point. Oh, right? What was go oh, wait, no, no, no. Hold on a second. Look at her. She's like on the hill in the trees. The what heel? was going to be her lot. Because originally she was going to be up in so the she's trees. Probably, she she's probably on Mary's lot. Yeah. She's like, she's I like to sit on Mary Mary's lot. Yeah. Because she doesn't want the trees anymore. That's because Have you ever you watched behind that? Amanda here, Robin's lot oh, yes. is the biggest lot. and also has a mix of trees and no trees. Wow. Oh, I didn't mean we'll to do, do that. that. We'll do that. There. Is that better? <laughs> I'm just so trying to good. show. Is this better? Um, yeah, we're good. It's the same. No, nope, hate that. Hate it, babe. You're, there. you're you're good. You're good. Okay, so she just goes Sarah. there and stares at Janelle hauling water <gasps> oh, to her trailer. This, this is a good point. Laura says, "Didn't Janelle say that Gabe had an RV an episode ago?" Yeah. 
No, Garrison. I, was like I think it was Garrison. I think it was Gary. They're yeah. still much smarter than fucking Cody. They both went to college. Mm -hmm. no, Didn't Gabe finish his schooling like a whole semester early because he did his entire like 12th that. grade in the summer? Yeah. And Garrison, I think, is also either Army or Reserve or something like that. Yeah. And Garrison's was in Janelle's driveway. And Cody didn't like that because although he wasn't in the house, you know, they're adults. Bye-bye. He didn't like that Gary was in the driveway, just like leeching off Janelle. He could go in there. He, he could go in whenever he wants. I don't like that. Um, use the bathroom. Yeah, so Robin's Jay... just watching Janelle empty her own shitter and haul water back and forth. Yeah, she's just watching like, from a distance. Like, I'm just sitting there. Jay Carey says, "Wasn't McKelty like nine when she was helping Robin?" Watch Robin's kids and Aspen was taking care of the kids at 10 when Christine worked nights. Yeah, those ages I think were a little off. Like 14 11 and 13 something. or something. But yeah, still, they were way too young to be doing this. And I just noticed that Julie. Oh, wait. Oh, sorry. Julie from Resting Bitch Pod. Hello, Julie. Hello. Another one of our besties. I've uh, yep. been working all weekend. I had to drop by to see my girls. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Go check out Resting Bitch Pod. She's great. And she's always on there with Justine. Yeah, you guys are crazy. Huh. You guys are awesome oh. in the comments. We're seeing them all. Ooh, spicy. Yeah, and I, oh, South Wales, UK. Just so you guys know, I do. I always, Jody doesn't like to look at herself. Um, I hate looking at myself, but I will always go back and rewatch the entire stream and just look at the live chat just to, because I want to see what everyone yes, said. Let me see you. Huh. Anyway, we got fucking Robin here. She's like, <laughs> cool. Not a bench. Cody, get me on this bench, Cody. Jesus. Gosh, shut up, Robin. She Every time I was after for like 18 Janelle months. was gone, if I would have ran into her, I would have said oh. hi and talked to her a bit. You know, this oh, is me okay. and my mom. Was, you know that Janelle was like, is that Robin's car? What? And like, hit the oh, deck. Hit the we deck. We talked about this, but just like when someone rings the yeah. doorbell, like, boom, we're all down in this house. No one make a freaking oh. sound. Don't you, you see? You see Robin's you know, million dollar car rolling up. Those lights are off. And you know, Robin is watching no for one's Janelle home. to drive away. And then Robin will be like, dun, 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 dun. Cody, she's so mean to me. She hates me. She's never there. I don't know why. I think she's She doesn't want me. a relationship with me, Cody. Actually, Robin's probably pissed because when she looks out the windows of her million dollar house, now Janelle's camper that no one should have to live in an RV it's is in her, her view. view. It's one of your view of, of the mountain. Look at the mountain. She's ruining it. By the way, have we seen Mary yet? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was weird. Yeah, all all auto is going to do is shift it by the tenth of a degree that we just shifted it by pulling everything. Did you auto level it yesterday or today? The, wait, hang on. This is a really good point. Um, wait, where to go? Robin, wait. Oh, Black Swan Gothica says Robin is keeping Cody's place guarded. I I know you're joking, kind of, but I um, like why would she go to Coyote Pass and sit there? To it see almost seems what like Janelle's it, doing out there. It seems like an intimidation method. Because why would you? You have a huge, huge property uh -huh. of your own. Yeah. You do not need to go out there. That would irritate me to know it. And she's never talked about going out there before. Here? Yeah, so keeping keeping an eye to see what Janelle's doing out there. This is the is equivalent she ending her shitter on Robin's property. Oh, I would just empty the all of it. Uh, this is the equivalent <laughs> of like getting like McDonald's and then pulling into a parking space to just devour Ooh. it, and then someone pulls up beside you and doesn't get out of their car immediately. Mm. I never you never been there? Parking a lot, really? No. <sighs> Well, I just eat it while I go if I need to. Your last meal is a side salad. Oh, mm -hmm. you know what? This brings up a good point that I was thinking of a couple episodes ago. And I know a lot of people on Reddit have kind of speculated about this. I don't think how, that's true at all. I don't think he's cheating on them. But when Robin was saying, I don't think the other wives are really understanding how much time Cody's spending with them. They just forget or they lose count and they don't track things correctly. I think he tells Robin that he's going to go, I'm going to go out to Janelle's. I'm going to go out to Christine's, but he doesn't. I think he does go to the casino or he just drives around to make himself. I think he important. drives around. Mm -hmm. I think he's just dicking around. 
Because he wants so, that like space. Because when yep. I lived with Daphne and Ron, my mom and her, my stepdad, uh, for a month when I moved here, I just what I would go out every day and just drive around because I needed like space. Mm -hmm. <laughs> However, I'm not the father to uh, you know 17 children. Yeah, I mean this is it's an intimidation factor. And then and then that's like ammo against Janelle. Because if Janelle's like, yeah, I, I know Cody and Robin are right over there, but I never see them. Robin could be like, well, I always go and I'm on the land, but you're never there. Like she can try but to- But I don't want you there. You're like in like... my space. This would be the equivalent of Janelle going and sitting in Robin's backyard and just like staring off into the air. <laughs> oh my God, I wish she would. That would be pretty it's funny. So great. Because as we'll find out great. later, Cody consider great. Cody considers them all to own each house. All of them own each house. Right. Oh, that's going to come in handy, huh? All right, let's see. So what just happened is that what? Cody just said, "Hit the auto go ahead and hit, hit the auto level, Gabe." Uh, Gabe said, uh, like, yeah, like I just fucking said. I'd be like, "So you were." If she uh, is able uh, to somehow get something going on, on the property, then yeah, she'll be my favorite person forever. Because like, that's all I want is to get on that property. Sure. When we first yeah, moved we to Flagstaff, I fell sure, in girl. love with Coyote Pass. And I saw all, like, four of us wives and Cody all living there and raising our kids there and probably settling there. And then we did nothing and nothing and nothing. And then things between Cody and I got worse and worse and worse. Cody, I'm, oh, now the centers aren't even down at all. Both of them are up. Oh, that's all right. No, it's oh, that looks really precarious to me. Did it's you see that? It's not the thing. It's above it. Right? So it we have above. like, it's like this big look. round circle that's like a, oh, like okay. a weight bearing circle. But then she has like two pieces of like wood flanks. But the yeah. circle is not even it's halfway not on it all the to way. the wood. No. Why it's more than one of those logs off. uphill that he's been chiseling away at for six years. He's what are those for? Yeah. Cut him up. Cody. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah. Uh -huh. Cody knows. For now. I think there's a reason why we haven't done anything with the property yet. Oh, and hey, it Mary. really just comes down to in order to Hi, do Mary. anything with it, it has to be paid off. I, I don't even know. Like, I don't even know. I'm Mary's really into these bomber jackets. She's had, she's shown yeah. us a few this season. Because she's like a, she's like, like Rizzo on a. Grease. Grease. Yeah. Yeah. There She's are the worst things girl. I can do. She's so checked out of this. And eat a banana. Yeah, when, when they're like, yeah, nothing happened on the land. Yeah, because you have huge loans that you cannot pay yeah. off. Yeah, um, the government is not going to let houses? you do this. Which of the uh, houses all of, especially? All of them. <laughs> yeah, but especially Robin and Cody's. But they needed oh. it because all the children are going to live at home forever. Well, they're all going to race back as soon as they can. Yeah, like dating Aurora Brianna. The family now is Cody and Robin and their kids. And yeah. then it's Janelle and Christine and their kids. And they've created this amazing family together. So maybe oh Polygamy God, does work. Funny. Robin is the watcher. <laughs> <laughs> By the I way, Amanda that. and I talked about that on our episode of Love to Hate Everything. You can look at it. It's here on our channel. Oh, I had mixed feelings about that. little, what do we say? Heavy-handed. Oh yeah, no, I and I finished it, and by the end, I was like, I wasn't even drunk when I was watching it. I was like, am I drunk? Because by the end, I was like, what's happening? There was like twenty six false endings of that thing. Like, okay, can you wrap it up? Please? Oh, there's so many different plot oh holes in it. it. Was God, wild. I just don't even care who did it at this point. Okay, oh, I want to hear. Okay, let's get to uh, Mary here. Honestly, the property is the furthest thing from my mind. Like, there's a lot of family stuff that needs to be worked out. Uh oh, oh, I know how to fix this. It's a low level. This is too low level. You don't want to kick me out of here. So, what's happening here is that Cody, because I know you can't hear it. Yeah. Cody's saying, Gabe, this is low level, low level. And Gabe just said, Do you want to kick me out of here? I'm the only one that knows how to fix this. And Cody's about to go. He doesn't like that. Gabe, everybody, we have to know how to fix it, okay? Then let me show you. 
Gabriel doesn't know anything about this RV. He hasn't read the manual. You don't know anything about he the hasn't RV. Driven it. He hasn't leveled it before. He doesn't know what he's talking about. He doesn't even know what he's doing. And you do? Me and my dad. Listen to this. We don't talk as much as we used to. Ever since we we like talked about COVID and stuff, and I voiced how I was not appreciating how he was handling it. Tensions have been really high. Minutes, 12 seconds. Yeah, rules are as regulations for work. Why can't we have that for a family staying healthy? Because we're a family. Why don't we just verbalize it and trust each other? Therein lies the problem. Right there. Right there. We've been just trying to operate as a family here. It just seems like he's tired of putting effort into maintaining something with me. I don't I don't really understand what I did wrong. That's nothing right there. That's yeah, my relationship there, with my dad. There and lies the problem right there. Just uh, he's when when a parent just kind of gives up and they're like, "Well, I put in my efforts and this seems like a lot of work and it's too know. much work and, he, and there's no payoff for Cody because no. he doesn't get the praise and the you're the center of my world like he does with the little one because he's going to have to make them the center of his world, which is how it should be. Your kid Correct. should be the center of your world. Right. Uh, yeah. So that sucks. I told, I mean, I was just like watching myself talking here. Mm -hmm. It's like, he's given oh, up yeah. on me. I don't know what I did wrong, but he just does not. I haven't seen my dad in months. He does not want to see me. Be because for Cody, well, if they want to see me, then they should be reaching out to me. And say, like, no, again, you're oh, the adult. You're the parent. You should be reaching back out. But he is so intimidated by his own children because they are smarter than him. They're more yeah. with it. They have a closer relationship like to their moms. He doesn't like that. God, it really is sad. Oh, poor Garrison. Or no, that's Gary. Gabe. 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 The whole issue here with me and Gabriel isn't that Gabriel doesn't know what's going on. But Gabriel knew what the rules were. We He, he was gaslighting me, I feel like. Again, he's not there nothing to do with this situation. You. you don't know what gaslighting means. You don't know what gaslighting means. He's telling no. you a true fact of how he feels. Right. And this has nothing to do with any of the situation that's even going on because talk about the rules and protocols. You yourself just broke them when you went to the stupid wedding and when you had the nanny. Right? If you I mean, want like, a perfect no textbook rules. definition of gaslighting, you would watch the first episode of this season where him and Christine just have that talk. And he's like, I never oh, said yeah. that. I didn't yep. say that. You interpreted that differently. I just shrugged. I shrugged. Mm -hmm. That's gaslighting. Gabe yep. saying, this is really hurtful for me. And why don't you like me anymore? That's not gaslighting. No. God, I mean, and yeah, I've experienced some gaslighting in my life. Yeah. Oh, for sure. Thank you, Emma. Yeah, now I know my dad. My dad's <sighs> very complicated. <laughs> anyway, okay, does he get this figured out? Like, I have to know before we keep watching this. Does he? Get oh, I, I don't. I don't. Re as far as I remember, this is all kind of a blur. I don't oh. think they do. I don't think. I don't think it's. I think they're gonna probably leave it. Like, yeah, it's good. Oh my god! Every time Janelle just walks from one to the other, the whole thing is like. Dum, dum. You can hear it going. Mm. It's like Jurassic Park. Boom, boom. Oh, Jesus! Boom, boom. <laughs> no, that wasn't me calling Janelle fat. That was just literally me commenting on Cody's fault. They can't do level. anything. Oh, yeah. she could put all this is the most talent set side over there. You need boards under this no, tire. No, no. Janelle is trying to force him to put boards under the tires, and Cody says no. Which no. seems to be like the easiest thing to do. Like it's saying it's level, just put something underneath it. Okay, let's see what his solution is. Like the driveway has some natural unevenness because it's rock. So I sort of figured we could put boards under the low tire. Okay, I, we need to put some boards under the tires. Ooh, so okay. even before I decided to leave Cody, when things were really bad, between us i thought okay i can give him my best intention and maybe build on it but the last thing i want to do is live on a property where he has full functioning marriages with other wives and yay i get to see it all the time that doesn't sound fun oh buddy see look come check this out oh. it's not level at all 
<laughs> She's like, oh, you really fucked it up even worse. Ooh. So what just happened there, I believe, was that the stairwell was out, but like one of the little like nubby things that like holds it in place wasn't there she's like it's not it's not level at all and gabe just came over and was like (sighs) (laughs) he kicked kicked out the little thing and was like there you go i'm going home this is me every time my mom calls me over she's oh god it was actually um last Jesus, we were having something. It was like Thanksgiving and she was running late and she's like, I, uh, my whole TV, it's just like messed up whatever she comes over right. the whole day. And it's like, you needed an HDMI one. No, no. This was last year. She had moved a picture frame and put it in front of the sensor. So for two or three days, she's no, texting, she's calling I'm him, giving her all there. these different things. And Dave goes over there and he's like, there, the remote broke right now. Yeah. Aim yep, says Gabe is the there. new Gabe is the new Logan, the new dad uh-huh. of the family. Yeah, because I think Garrison's kind of over it, but Gabe still has a little bit of attachment to his dad because he was one of the younger yeah. ones. Yeah. Whereas like most of the older kids have managed to kind of break away, but Gabe still has that desire for yeah. approval. Well, because it seems like Gabe and Cody did have kind of like a little special bond or an extra little closeness. Because he's kind of in that age group where they're on the cusp of, it was like right before puberty when they started doing this show. So yeah. he was right on the edge of everything. Ooh, okay, so now she's heading inside. Yeah, hang on. I just have to plug in my phone and now oh, it logged me out. Oh, I love this. Bob Gary Brown. There you go. Queen Truly Secretary of Defense. That's amazing. Oh, God. <laughs> Too funny. I'm glad Garrison gave dad his walking papers. Yep. Sorry, guys. I don't yeah. know why that did that. My phone just logged me out. There's a new show on TLC called Seven Little Johnsons. Oh, Seven. that's not a new show. Oh. It's been forever. Well, it just started coming up on my algorithm. Yeah, I agree with you. Gabe is a little bit more sensitive. He's kind of like my my Googie bear. My little child. I'm from Texas and I'm just Do enjoying... you remember what time we were at? Fuck. Yeah. 3146. Perfect. Here we are. That's really overwhelming. <laughs> overwhelmed. I haven't talked to Cody yet about this, but what makes most sense to me, because it seems easiest, is I keep everything from the house, the proceeds, if I rent it, sell it, whatever, and then he can have the property they can have Boom, the property done. i want nothing to the property I'm again i repeat tired. nothing Whoops, i didn't mean to do that um no, his just, fucking like, visor bre- every time i see his visor and his he just it it shows his hairline so bad he uh, doesn't Aiden, think so though because it goes like up and over it so he thinks it looks good oh, yeah. Uh, sarah says is Peyton older than gabe yes i think gabe is the youngest right son well, Saul, I think Gabe and then oh. Saul, right? Yeah, I Gabe believe so. Ooh, wait, hold on. Garrison gave Cody the middle finger during a Christmas episode. Ooh, we must be coming up towards that then on when our they Patreon. First Las Vegas. Interesting. Ooh, we'll have to look for that. I mean, we sit here and play with this forever. It's not leveling. I don't get it. But I'm tired and I'm done. Let's just oh, move he's tired. I guess I thought I would pull the trailer out there, I'd hook up some sort of power, and everything would be great. This has turned out to be so much more difficult than I thought it was going to be. I hope I survive this. Going ahead, 20 oh, seconds. Oh boy, I mean, that's typical ground fashion. We are at 32.53 for anyone who wants to catch up. With Christine wanting to move to Utah, there's this big question of, you know, what what do we do with her house? And so Christine wanted me to come over to uh, to sit down with her and talk about it. Hey, hey, you want to talk? Yes. Cody shows up with his visor and his work glove on. Work gloves on. Yes. God, he loves those gloves. Okay. About, um... He's tired. About specifically... We're moving and um, keeping this house. I'm definitely moving to Utah. Um, Not yet. Um, It'll be after 
Well, the girls move out. But anyway, I don't know what to do about my house. And I just want to get Cody's opinion on what to do about it. So what I'm thinking about is the last thing that I want to do is displace Gwendolyn. She wants to finish college here. But with COVID, she hasn't been able to go on campus. So she hasn't been able to find roommates and find a place to stay. She's vaccinated. Yeah, she is. Well, it's new. It's all new. Well, Cody, now he's the expert wait, on vaccination. Wait, Even yeah. though he's anti-vax, he's like, but she's vaccinated, so she's fine. So she can get the what? fuck out. Bye-bye. What? Where do you stand on this? Well, I don't think that's what it was. I think he's saying that Gwendolyn has the vaccination, so she's safe. But yeah. then in the same breaths is anti-vax. So right. where do you stand on this? I don't get it. Where he stands. like, I, uh, I mean, you guys, I'm starting to think. He just doesn't want to be around the rest of the family. Oh, like COVID was the best thing that ever happened to him. Yeah. Yeah. Like he and Robin decided, like, if you Cody. don't see the rest of the family, just say it's COVID. COVID-19 protocols. Right. I think we're on to something. Jesus. God, he's, how does he even keep up with himself? She's vaccinated, so she can just. You know what? And be what I'm thinking about doing is renting the place out to two more people besides her, and then just locking the door just to up here, so they can't come up here. And so when I come to town with Truly, I just want to have a place to stay, just to make it a little bit easier, you know, to come into town and stuff. So what do you think? <laughs> He's so stumped. He's such an idiot. Because he's, he's trying to find a way for this to not work. Because that was a really good idea, actually. Yeah. He's like, okay, protocol, protocol, protocol. Stop it, Cody. Protocol. Uh, 19, ooh. Robin, Robin, Robin. Pro tender age. Wait, custody, custody. Because uh, no, I can't say that. Because then she I, would come here I and have a place to say. And I could I see. I don't have money to more. give her. Right, mm. custody. How do I get her money? To... How do I get her money? Um, I'm not on, yeah. on the birth certificate. Right. He was not ready for this at all. He was not ready. It's so great. God. His dumb face right here. Yeah. <laughs> um, I got to admit, this entire experience of this breakup has spun my head off my neck has also never been through a breakup in his life no you were a 50 something year old man Come Calm on. The I mean, fuck down he married uh what's her face mary, mary. They're basically teenagers okay but like him. he's never had anyone not want him. him yeah uh, never that's what Ken. he likes he wants to be able to be like, ew, Christine eats nachos. Disgusting. Oh, the, that's I, what he the, wants. The sight of this chubby girl. I, I need some time to actually digest this and know the right thing to do. Uh, you've had since AKA, season one. Sir. Like, yeah, since also, when she was so pregnant with Julie. That means he has to hurry up, get home, tell Robin what Christine said before he forgets it so that he and Robin can figure out how to manipulate this situation into that she's the bitch. She's yeah. Destroying the family. Yep. God, they feed off each other. Look at his dumb face. It sort of deals with the unknown. I mean, like you don't know what else you'll be able to do. Selling it now. <laughs> You know, would make it so you could, we could pay off Kyrie Pass. I mean, Janelle could actually build up. We can't build that until we pay it off. What? I think Christine's like. If you sell it now, it makes it so that we could pay off Coyote Pass. Where you will never be living. So you want her to just give you everything. Yeah. Why? Oh, he family. really doesn't get like she is she's leaving the family she's she's with her family now she's not with you and owes you nothing 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 at all um oh my Chris, god the, 
the audacity that he thinks that would even be an oh, option that's insane. to say it. Uh, Christine's not even entertaining it. Uh, Christina <gasps> Bennett says, Amanda, please keep an eye on the candle burning behind you. It's fine. It's a jar candle. It's, it's Is not, there a it shelf like... above it, though? No. There's nothing happening. Everything's fine. Is it on, like, a shelf, like, in a nook? Because it could get really hot on that bottom side of the shelf. It's on top saying. of a crocheted thing that Daphne made. It's not too No, but hot. what's above it? Nothing. Oh, those are my... um. Those are on the wall. Those are the sound things for the wall. Oh, it looks like a cubby. It looks like it's I know. Yeah, I know. It looks inside. like it's closer. It's yeah. Okay. We're, we're good. We're okay. good. He. I listen. I like that everyone's looking out for you. Yeah, that's good. No, <laughs> it just exploded. Otherwise, your aunt's gonna have to come back over and repaint. Okay. Hey, the fire damage. Fire damage. <laughs> I'm going to sell my house. Yeah. I'm gonna keep the proceeds from selling my house and put it towards the next house that I purchase. As one does. So if I sell. I'm not going to put that money into Coyote Pass. And that ship sailed for me. I'm not putting any more money into Coyote Pass. The problem here, Christine, is that it is our house. The family actually bought this house. Oh, it's bullshit. not your house. It's our house. So if I did sell, the family needs the money right now for the property. But then I would get some of the money too. So how does that work out? We would... It'd be just it'd be a, a a place of what we do is we pay off the property, and we divide the lots, and then rather than quit claiming your lot, you would sell your lot to us. Oh, okay. I've been making uh -oh, okay. every payment on this house, every one. So no, I I won't be giving him any of the money from. Robin and I gave her her down payment for that house. Christy. He just said Robin and I gave her her payment. For Don't ever, when it comes to money, Robin's name doesn't need to appear in any of this because she does not make income. I and can the believe Robin it. and I, I can guarantee whatever the check goes into that, because I, not the uh, weird. LLC that Robin and Cody have that weird ass name. What is it like? Blurg Tech or whatever the hell that yeah, is. Yeah, whatever their uh, anagrams. Yeah. Yeah, but there is like a Cody Brown family LLC or whatever the hell. And I'm sure their TLC checks go into that. Yeah. And that because Robin is legal wife, she is on that. So they have to like be like, oh, here's your portion. But it's not them like being like, oh, okay, well, let's take out of our shared account. Because like you, everyone's saying, um, what's Robin's salary? Zero dollar salary plus benefits, babe. By the way, Valerie says it's Dab Sark. There we go. And that stands oh, for so stupid. Dayton, Dayton Aurora, Aurora, Aurora Brianna, Saul, Sa Ariola, Robin, oh, Robin yeah, Saul, Cody. Ariola, Robin, Cody. God, so Christ. Who thought of that? Robin's like, Cody, I just thought of a really good idea. She's like crab sad or something. Um, oh, Christina says, Amanda, sorry, I thought the candle was in a cube shelf. Yeah, I know. It does look like it's it kind does of look like that. Yeah. It does look like All that. All right. Thank you. Yeah. No, thank you. This is outrageous. Oh, Robin and I gave that. I'd be like, oh, really? Because um, Janelle and Mary and I gave you and Robin a show in a paycheck. So yeah. shut the fuck up. You disgusting yeah, Robin Curly. I understand head. Robin does make money off the show. Like she contributes to this, but like, shut the fuck up. All the other women hustle. I do agree that Cody probably does make money off of his guns and his cameos. Robin's not even on cameo. No. Oh God. She never, she could not come up with any original thought or witty anything. It would just be like beat your face the whole time. Yeah. You and I, I mean, we're not into like the MLM thing, but at least they're doing something to make They're money. hustling. They're yeah. doing a great job. I mean, they post every oh, but, day about this. But Robin has the the young kids that she's taking care of. My, my sister wife's closet. There's more to come. Don't worry. We're, we're, we're working. <laughs> the page is under construction. Don't worry. We're coming up with some great stuff to give you. Oh. Those hands, those hands that are like this. Oh, the creepy long skeletal hands on the, yeah, on the I can't clattering. Even do it. On the clattering. Woof. Yeah, buzz your jewelry. Woof. All right, we're almost done here, guys. Christine Don't worry. She couldn't qualify for financing. She yes, because she's not legally married to you. She couldn't, and she also had to file for, for bankruptcy because Cody made every wife file for bankruptcy. 
That's why yeah, she, and also she can't qualify for financing because she is a single wife because she's a polygamist. That's why it's not because she's not making money. She's making more money than Cody. God, what a dick. So I bought that house with her and it was my money that went into that house to buy the house. Oh yeah, she's been making a mortgage payment and we all have been having oh, to do that. Nothing. But we yeah. had to come up with that money for the down payment. That money should come back and go into Coyote Pass. It is. That's an insane said, thing to say. But that is what's happening. She's like, okay, I'll take the house. And you keep Coyote Pass. I'm giving yeah. you my portion of it. I don't care. But he wants he wants to double dip, basically. Well, and she's about to say, let us know that she has been making. She's the only one. Yeah, she who has been that. making mortgage payments. Yeah, okay, you, okay. God, she's the only one. So it's her house, and his name isn't on the house, by the way. God, the, oh, I thought it was. No, it is not. She's gonna say it. Oh, so What's her name just coming up here? Mm -hmm. That's actually probably a really good idea. I mean, I would make Truly a little area over there, so she would be able to. Well, I might get Truly a room at one of the houses, or no, personally in one house. I might get Truly. Oh, a room, wouldn't that be nice? But, um, truly stays uh, there. Uh, you know, you and I have to actually have a child custody agreement in place, or the state takes her. Uh, it essentially, becomes the owner of her. Oh, seriously? Yeah, it's stupid. So I got through to this child custody thing, and I just started getting creative about it because what? it's like, well, what do I... You don't get creative what, what with child custody. What is he talking custody. about? He's so fucking stupid. Um, NY Limit 77 says, yeah. I'm an attorney in Florida, and Christine could easily make things very difficult for Cody if she pursues child yeah. support as a resident in Utah. Oh, well, he's about to get pissed about these. like, do not do anything in utah can you take this comment um off because i'm i'm in a different uh th thing yeah. um because i'm about to put something up on the screen i, I, I just don't know what to do and christine's like well why, why do we need to do this and i'm like well because the rule book says yeah i don't know why we need to do this and there is this thing in the manosphere where it says if you're getting divorced you're going to get screwed bro Excuse me. All right, so let's break that down. Uh, someone, uh, man, man, okay, I was, I got it here. Thank you. I someone mentioned this, and I'm like, what? A, can I make this bigger? Mm, um, no, no. yeah, no, well, it's bigger for me. It's Emily, um, Emily Dudia Buckley, uh, put this on our thing, and she's like, just. For future reference later when you guys do the podcast, she Googled Manosphere. The Manosphere is a collection of websites, blogs, and online forums promoting masculinity, misogyny, and opposition to feminism. Community within the Manosphere includes men's rights activists, mm. incels, involuntary <laughs> celibates, uh, mar uh, men going their own way, pickup artists, and fathers' rights groups. Oh, well, I mean, how about, how about that? The man, so he went home and started Googling like father's rights, custody. Now oh, he thinks he's like father was up, of the year. He was up until 5.30 in the morning that night. Oh, going, he's blowing up. message these, boards. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Old oh, school discussion blown. threads. The manosphere. Gross. That's really terrifying to know that that really exists to be honest i don't like it um uh, sure okay i mean there's a lot of things we can say here now first of all there are fathers and i will say that there are um dads that get screwed out of stuff and sure. and the divorce sure, and, court and all that i mean it's messy. someone in your family that that's happened to yeah it's complicated right. no one knows what really goes on unless you're like living in the house lots of different stuff to that um the hypocrisy that now Cody and Robin are all like father's rights. Well, what about Robin's ex-husband who Cody adopted yeah. the kids and took all the rights away from their dad? He signed away his rights so that Cody could adopt them. But after the adoption, the kids were still going to visit Robin's ex. Oh, yeah. They went to Montana to visit for like three or four weeks. Yeah, but do you know that when that happens, Cody and her drive up the entire way and then to stay bring there them. the whole time? Uh -huh. And then they bring them back? 
But again, I mean, the hypocrisy of that is that they're all for father's rights when it's when it's Cody's, but they were all oh, yeah. to like, oh, his abusive ex and those kids should never be with him. And oh, remember Robin, she lost her purity to him and all that. I mean, my God, ew, this is just so gross. And oh, yeah. um, also, oh God, I mean, like, I don't know. I don't want to disparage any dads out there that deserve more custody. I mean, without getting too into stuff. I mean, I have a family member very close to me that was in this situation. And generally, sometimes it is set up for the mother to have more time. And that's not always in the best interest of the kids. But it, the reason why we even have this whole father's rights thing is because there are fathers like Cody and that we do have a kind of patriarchal misogynistic thing where the default parent is often the mother. So it's not like it comes out of nowhere, Cody. Yeah. It's and, set up like that. Um, God. Suzanne says, don't miss him saying that the state would own truly. I'm not no, sure what, if we passed that already. About? Yeah. He says, if that, if we don't file for rights, the state, it's as if he thinks that she's going to be a ward of the state. This is what like, I think no. he meant. And I apologize, uh, whoever said they were attorney, I'm sorry, I'm trying to go back. But I think he might be getting mixed up because there's like an attorney ad litem where there's like attorneys that speak for the children, like they represent the children. Sure, Maybe that's what that would thinking. happen in this situation. Because like, she has a full-time having... mom. Well, no, like an attorney ad litem would be like if you're going through a divorce proceeding they would be like well this is the best okay. place for the children oh here we go but also they're not even technically going through a divorce and his name is not right. Birth certificate. right which is why i mean like i think he googled oh. this stuff he right. went on some discussion board got all fucking fired up oh, about it wild up man the manosphere he thought he was gonna blow our asses away with that manosphere thing oh, yeah and then the, the, also, Cody, do you not know your audience? Your audience is our audience for this YouTube channel is 99.9% .9 uh -huh. females. Uh huh. Yeah. Oh, Guardian men. Ad Litem. Thank you. Thank you. Guardian. But ad like, Litem. like women fucking, especially, I, I feel like probably more than 50% of these people that listen to us are moms. And a yeah. lot of them have probably been through divorces. We, your audience knows how to, like, what's going on here. You're no, not fooling to, uh, any of us. How you say mansplain it to us oh, dumb yes. out there. Woman. We're all gaslighting our kids and our husbands. and oh. Gabe was gaslighting me about that oh. RV. Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't matter. In this case, we, we've got an issue where we have to have a child custody agreement in place. Basically, we just say 50-50 agreement. And then we just oh, work out the details. He thinks um, she's so stupid. Time, so. Otherwise, you're going to get a lawyer and the government involved, federal or state government, and and the lawyer is going to take all the money you have. Does he not understand? I want him to be around his kids. I'm not going to fight him on that. I've always wanted him to be around his kids. So why would I say I don't want you to be around? Truly, that doesn't make any sense whatsoever. He just doesn't trust me. That's what this comes down to. No, I don't trust her. How am I supposed to trust her? You know, like, what's, what ne what's the next move she's going to make against me? I don't need to get a lawyer involved. I mean, I don't think that we need to get a lawyer involved in things. You might need a lawyer to write that. I don't want to get a lawyer involved in things. Well, maybe we should get a lawyer to write that then. What no, the this is what fuck he, are you This talking? is what he's saying. He doesn't want to have to get a lawyer because he knows that he would need to if, right. you know, if he really wanted to lock this shit down. He doesn't want to do it and spend all his money. And so he's trying to tell Christine, like, we listen, if you get a lawyer, they're going to waste all your money and they're just going to tell you 50 50 anyway. So let's just do 50 50. And that way we're all good. You know, just don't because you don't want to get the government involved. You don't want that to happen. Oh, by the way, Melanie Baker, this is, this is Walter. George is asleep on my bed. Walter, do you want to go for a. Oh, don't tease him. Do you want to do don't a. Tease him. Where's Detty? All right. Where's uh, daddy? Did you say where's daddy? Yeah, he likes that. <laughs> okay. He, li he likes daddy? that one. Who's daddy? Yeah, no, it was bacon fingers for a while, and then it was my dad when my dad used to want to, you know, be around me and stuff. Oh, oh no. Oh god, here we go. Okay. <laughs> Don't tease him. I'm sorry, he's fine. He's fine. This is the most spoiled dog you'll ever fucking see. Thanks, 
I'm, I'm going to ask around. Okay. Usually divorces just aren't that nice. She's going back to a state that will come after me if she decides to. Okay. Well, because you're doing something illegal. Because he's yeah. literally he's he's the definition of why polygamy is illegal because he uses tax breaks, bankruptcy. Oh wait, but you don't want to get the the government involved. No, don't do it, Christine. But if you can take advantage of the system, I mean, oh, don't get it's even better. Do you see? How I mean, like get the perks from it, like you know, like right. roads and infrastructure that might bring like water and electricity to Coyote Pass, but like. Ugh. Only if it if it works for you. Um, also, like he's stating the exact reason why she would go to Utah so that she could hold your feet to the flame to support your children. It's pretty smart, actually. She uh, definitely met with a lawyer before. Of course. I mean, of course she did. Yes. She ain't stupid. He's Her lawyer's look. probably like watching them from like a camera, a hidden camera somewhere. And she's got like a thing in her ear. Yeah, no. God, what a fool. So, like, yeah, maybe I should have a child custody agreement in place. And Christine's going, maybe we don't. The weirdest thing just happened. I came out. <laughs> it's our favorite the garage. Scene. This is our favorite. Cody's a nice man. Cody's clothes from dresser. Cody's bathroom stuff. I guess I've been moved out of the house. She told me that she was trying to be benevolent in packing up my stuff and getting out of the house because she knew I didn't have the time to do it. And frankly, I wouldn't have done it. I would have been obstinate about it because I <laughs> wanted to. Was okay, so that's why she said that. I mean, I mean, what I mean what frankly, I wouldn't have, I would have what he just said here. And she was trying to be benevolent and packing up my stuff and getting it out of the house. Because she, she knew I was too knew, busy. And I, I didn't have the it. time to do it. And frankly, I wouldn't have done it. And then he says, um, I would have been obstinate about it because I wanted to. That was my house. So. Oh, so what are you saying? It's like, he, it, it really is like the jinx. Like now he's just telling the truth in an angry voice. Yeah. It's just. What one thing. Because, okay. Because All like, that's missing is the burping. Stupid. We're women, so like we're not very smart. He's got to drill a it man. in. Yeah, yeah. He's a the man the we don't sex. understand it. So if he explains yeah, somebody... it, we'll get it better. Amy Pearl just said he has already been a part of the manosphere prior to this. He's all into that. He's into all that right wing yeah. QAnon shit, which men's rights and manosphere is part of. I mean, that's not surprising, but still kind of disappointing because yeah. then he does some good stuff. Like his reaction to Leon coming out, he handled that great, great. Hey. I thought. That's because well, I mean I hate to be this. That was for TV. Call, but for yeah, TV. because then he could yeah. look like a good old great guy. This is a good point too. Is that Christine's doing this all on camera so she could just be like roll that beautiful bean footage, roll the got tape. it on tape, <laughs> which yeah. is why she wanted Cody there when she told the other wives. And even in that yeah. circumstance, remember, he's like, well, you're not bringing Truly. Truly's going to stay here. And she's like, she's got a great lawyer, this. great therapist. Great. Great. Yeah. We're almost done, guys. Don't worry. I want to live there still. She says that she was being benevolent. If she was truly being benevolent, maybe she can be trusted through all of this. But I maybe. don't know. Um, you, you have to have a child custody agreement in place. Okay. Otherwise, the state gets involved. And that's with me like, moving to Utah. Do we need to make that part of the agreement? No, no, we're, we're not doing anything ever in Utah. Even though I'm moving to Utah. Don't ever involve Utah. Okay. Even if you, she's living there. Yeah, I don't think that's how it works, sweetie. If she's living in Utah, that's where it happens. Because that's where she and the child oh, in question are living. Not yes. you, Cody. Don't ever go to Utah. He no. is terrified that she would go to an attorney and that's why he wants to lock this shit down they just put something in writing it's all about money it's all about taking money out of, saying, out of the mouths of Saul and Ari yeah, maybe there's something in there where he like doesn't pay her child support because it's 50 I, maybe right she doesn't even want she doesn't even want the child support though she just wants no. to get the fuck away from Nancy Yoshikawa 
yep. says Cody's mistake is the first three, his first three wives have high IQs. He finally got it right on the fourth. <laughs> My dad got it right on marriage number three. Oh, so yeah. You know, I mean, daddy issues akimbo, I'm sure, in this group. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my God, he's such an idiot. Couch trust the agreement here. You don't get you to involve. No. Okay. And she's like, okay. Uh -huh. okay. Now we got a flashback of the Browns fleeing Utah. We shockingly Classic. don't see the shot of Mary closing the thing. Damn. I know. Left Utah under duress. Utah's like this enemy. I just, I put egg on their face. Maybe that's a little. Ooh. Uh, lofty of me to think, you know, but we had a lawsuit and we kicked their ass. And Christine says, I'm Except you didn't because then they retracted the fact that you won and then it went back. And then they, Utah, didn't Utah double down and make it a felony and not a misdemeanor? No, now it, you would just get like a ticket or something, I think. Now it's a misdemeanor again. But at first, I think it was a misdemeanor or maybe a felony. Then they won their lawsuit. And then Utah got pissed and doubled down. And then they made it even more of a felony. Oh, Jesus. Like, they doubled down. And now I think it's back to being, like, just a ticket again. Well, no, but they I mean, did it's not just kick their ass. Like, I showed them. We put egg on their face. They're big suckers. <laughs> Meanwhile, he doesn't even want to, like, step foot into Utah. Right. And Christine's like, why don't we just move back? It's really no big deal. But it's like they egg had every right to we'll be moving you. back. You, you right? lived in a you lived in a house that probably wasn't legally allowed to be built, and living on you broke all these tax laws and bankruptcies, and so like, sorry that Utah is going like going after you, but you kind of did every single, um, like thing yeah, that people like, we don't want you, dude. It has nothing to do with polygamy. We just yeah. like get out. Bye bye. Bye bye. Yeah, you're giving us a bad name. Just go. Oh, okay. So we're getting a flashback. Uh, fleeing Lehigh. Going back. Well, she's going back to a state that hates me. And so me, she's taking yeah. truly. Me, me, me. She's going to go to that state. What's going to stop them from teaming up with her? Because remember, I don't trust her. Whether she's going to be good to me or not is unknown. So you're going to get a bedroom for her when she comes? Yeah. Okay. So oh, don't be too excited, Cody. Yeah. She may or may not, I don't know. I think it's great that he wants what? to get a room for her in his house, in Robin's house. That's great. Then he'll spend more time with her because he's not really spending time with her here that much. Uh, let me think about it. Think about it. Right. Oh, now he has to think about it. Maybe I don't want her because now she you're here. She may not. I took it as she, she may or may not have her own room. No, 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 no. He, she was, he was, she was saying, no, I think that's great because I think she'd really like to like be around you. And he said, yeah, I don't know. She may or may not. That's what he was referring to. Well, he and Robin definitely don't want Truly to have their own, her own room there. That's oh, for true. sure. They're like, can we get a full R? They'll buy a whole RV just for Truly to sleep in outside so she never enters the premises. Because wouldn't that be... Okay, wait, they have a six-bedroom house? Is that right? Seven-bedroom. Okay. But one of those is Robin's office slash Cody's office, craft correct? Craft room. Craft room, too. Craft room. Oh, because Robin is so craft. Remember those awesome Christmas ornaments that she made? Super I mean, they were ones. cute. She you was trying were. back in the day, I thought. Like, it was fine. She's not as hateable back then. Okay, but that should be no problem at all to give her her own room, especially because Dayton moved out. And also, the other two are, how you say, adults, bye-bye. Bye-bye? No, but they're obedient, yeah. Jody. Oh, that's right. They're obedient. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then who will carry a fully adult Aurora up to her room? <laughs> Like, God, he's terrified. Yeah, he's, like, oh. he's lost control because he can't. He doesn't know how to handle being around a strong woman who's yeah. not reacting the way. Like he, he wants them to freak out so he can be like yep. these crazy bitches. Yeah, but she's so. She's like, okay, no, that's great. That would be actually great if you took Truly. Mm -hmm. Oh, Truly would love that actually. Yeah. She's giving him nothing to to be upset about. Nope. 
So he's got to find something. Off. Now it's the state of Utah. Now it's, uh, you know, women's rights. Ew. Ugh. And you see how quickly that turned after he said, I want to take truly 50-50. And now it's like, well, I guess I'll think about it, though. Yeah. Because so, mm-hmm. now Christine's like, yeah, no taker. That would be awesome. Mm-hmm. Um, ooh, interesting. Hmm. So saying like in Utah, no one really cares about the polygamist. Like, you're fine. You're fine, Cody. Yeah, no one cares like, about you that much. In Alberta, there's a lot of, and I know it's not the same culture at all, but they just kind of dress the same, but like the Hutterites. Mm, okay. For you? And yeah. uh, my dad, my dad always buys chickens from them every year. Like alive? Uh, I think, no, I think they're already dead, but they're like mm. fresh, fresh, fresh. Nice. Uh, so Rebecca, yes, Dayton, it sounds like from Peyton's TikToks and whatever cameos. Which are a little that... unhinged by themselves. And I feel like he might be also be sure. a part of that man group. But it does sound like Dayton is out doing kind of like a, um, I don't know, like, what do you call it? Like off the grid sort of stuff where he goes and camps. I don't even, and... think, I don't even think he means off the grid. I think he literally just means like, I'm, He's I live in my apartment. Thing. I don't, I'm not on social media. I don't want to be followed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So here That's we have Christine says, I would love it. Not get, I would love it. Not getting, not getting a lawyer, a lawyer involved. involved. And he's already going there and lawyering up. And I'm going to as well. Ugh. I don't want to though. I would rather just work it out amiably. You know, we've got kids. Can't we just figure this out on our own? We're not legally married. So we don't have- yeah, but it, that's with like a normal person. You can figure it out. On your I was going to say, yeah. You need a lawyer with Cody because this is someone that, that he has. Yeah, and someone that has Truly's best interest at heart. He's just wanting to make sure that Christine Suffers. doesn't, uh, that she's not happy. So he's going to yeah. do anything to make her not happy. By the way, I would go to law school tonight if it meant that I could represent Christine. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Like, I am ready to go sign up for the <laughs> Illinois bar right now. Oh, it feels so good. I have to go down that road. We'll see. All right, so that's the end. We're about to get coming up. Next time on Sister Wives. Okay. The trailer was a rude awakening. Uh-oh. Uh, living in the trailer is an absolute inconvenience. Every day she's dealing with... Oh, it is? An it inconvenience is. to him. To him, she's okay. kind of fine. She's, she's like, yeah, like wake kind of up, fine. walk all the way down Robin's long hallway and all the way down Robin's sets of stairs to go check out what oh, this issue is. Oh, one new problem. Hang on with me, okay? Mm. We have to rebuild. Uh, the only people who got what? my heavy story: Robin and Mary. Okay, I'm gonna pause it there. Um, what's, what's your side of the story? Because we've yeah. watched you for 17 seasons, we've seen your side of the story, and you spill your guts, sir. And these, oh, yeah, uh, you let your ass hang couch out. Time things, we've yeah. heard everything. They think that Robin is doing these protocols. <laughs> She was talking to the rest of the family. She was leaving my ass. <sighs> Both of us that exhale. <sighs> my name's the only name on this house. So legally, I get to make all the decisions. Yeah. I have an emotional attachment to this house. Yes, I do. Oh, bullshit. Listen, I have an emotional attachment to Christine. But, That's well, don't, wild. Don't what? Look- don't look too happy about it. I have an emotional attachment to Christine. Why, why might he have an emotional attachment? That I mean, a crazy thought. Money, even religious, married not... for twenty five years. Yeah, I'd hope that you so would that have literally the first time he's even said attachment. that. Yeah, you would. You would hope. Oh my God, Kelly. Actually, I'm really glad you brought this up. This is what what's is coming up on my TikTok. Guy? Yes. Every Same. other goddamn thing. I can't watch it. It's too triggering for me. Yeah. When I he don't stared know. down the judge. Yeah. And it keeps coming up and everything. I, oh, I guess it comes up every Google three TikToks. It. He's the guy that drove, he his, he drove a car into a parade and he killed like six people and injured. Oh, like, that's him. 
Yeah. Okay, and he's it. representing himself it. like a psycho and like everyone's just having to accommodate him just so that they don't have to go yeah, to a I retrial or a mistrial. Yeah. Oh, Cody definitely. Cody totally would represent himself too. Oh, if he hundred percent. He is smarter than everyone else in the room. Mm -hmm. He'd just be jumping up all the time. Leading, leading. I object. <laughs> He'd be jumping up, just going, sustained! sustained. Not knowing what the hell he's talking about. Oh, Jill O'Laughlin, thank you for the $10 tip. Oh, yeah, guys, this is the time. We'll stay on so for another sweet. few minutes. If anyone yeah. wants to give us a tip, that'd be fantastic. We'll talk, we'll chat. No I'm going to go buy another... I, yeah, no, no big whoop. So, well, so what? No big yeah, whoop. So what? Yes. Jill so what is case. one of my sister's names. Uh, my, sure. sister, my sister that actually exists. No, <laughs> I do believe that Jill exists. Uh, <laughs> right. Another one, too. Um, oh, the oh, uh, here I saw Bachelorette and I was thinking Bachelorette in Paradise. Mary and Robin. Have, oh my God, that would be amazing. Even better yet, Bachelorette with Janelle and Christine. Um, that would I don't be know. Fun. If, I don't know if it was Ace and Caitlin or Corey and Carly that said the next thing should just be a Big Brother house with the Brown family, and we just watch them interact, and like we ha we get to watch twenty four hour footage. How long would it take for Cody to actually like have a full meltdown? Oh, is minutes? he in the house too? I was just thinking yeah, just no children. Oh no, Cody has to be there. He's the key. Listen, my eyes would be on Gabe and Gary's room the entire time because you know they'd be spilling. Some oh, I don't even stuff. think we need the kids. I think say we just have oh. them exist. Oh no, I want the you kids. You don't even need Christine. You want the kids? I want the kids because I want to hear. Yeah, what I, I gotta hear. There are little mini conversations where mm -hmm. they like forget their mic is on. Yep. Uh, let's see. <laughs> let's pay for my law school. Yeah, yeah. What are we having oh for dinner? I don't know yet. I'm going to finally eat the quiche that I made this morning that I was too nervous to eat. You and your can... eggs. God, you eat more. How many dozen <laughs> eggs do you go through a week? Two? Three? I eat two eggs a day. It's no big whoop. That's a lot. Wow, so you go through over a dozen eggs a week. Do you buy like the 18 pack or what? No, I buy a 12 pack. They're very expensive in Canada. Mm, okay. Um, I think I might do like pizzas on the grill. I got some dough. I have a Hawaiian and... pizza in my freezer, actually, that's just been waiting to get. My I'm neck hurts so much. Together. Are you, is your neck sore? Are you sore from this? No, I'm just saying like this because I have a, a fat neck. I'm giving myself a, oh my a little lift here. Um, yeah, Christine Dating, she did a, was it a TikTok? No, it was an interview for like E or something. And she said that she's, and she's gone dating on some for dates. fun. Thank you, yeah. Lee. Oh, thank you, Ashley. Thank you, yeah. Ashley Merrick. Thanks for the great time, ladies. Yeah, come join yeah, us I'm next week. Take... Can you have chickens? In your townhouse? Can uh, you have chickens? I don't think so. Not in a complex. <laughs> <laughs> well, ask your aunt. I bet I'm your aunt would, would raise them at home. 36 eggs a week? Maria, are you serious? Wow. Maybe I need to start eating more eggs. I'm just not a big you egg just, person. Just fart? Sound like you said fart. No, <laughs> no, but I mean, <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, what, right. else? what else? What else? What else? Well, you know where we are. We, yeah. Maria, wow, that's amazing. You're Amanda's kind of gal, 36 eggs a week. It's good for you. Hey. Your system is just constantly moving. It's great. <laughs> Jeez. I feel great. Uh, check out our episode. We did a, an actual episode of We Love to Hate Everything that was not all sister wives. So check that out. That's here on YouTube or on our podcast app. Check out Patreons. All the links are here on YouTube. We have all our good merch and all that fun stuff. Thank you guys so much for staying and watching. It's way more fun to do this with you guys than watch it on our own and just chit chat about it. And if you don't mind to just stay for this shitty ad that I made, um, just because we we get like it it get, does better for our numbers of people watch the entire way through. Um, thanks, guys. Our, I hope that everyone comes back next week. That was the best one we've had yet. I loved yeah. it. Um, Ames made a strawberry rhubarb pie and ate a whole <gasps> bag of chips Yum. and four cookies plus two meals since we started. Yes. Thanks. God, you're killing it. You're killing it. Sarah wow. Jack sent Aww. us two bucks. Thanks, ladies. Thank Great. you no, guys thank so, you. so much. 
honestly, very sweet. Even you being here and everything, it really helps out. So anything yeah, so else, Amanda, it's just, before I... You know, it's just so much fun to hate Cody with hey, everyone. Wally. And... Wally's coming in in the back. Oh, stinky Walter, because he can sense that we're wrapping up. See, we say this. He yeah, knows. when you go bye-bye, you'll hear him shake his little... So yeah, there. yeah, he'll go. Tsh, 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 tsh. Oh. All right. Um. Okay. So what do we do? We... I'm gonna play us out here. Oh, you got this. I got it, babe. All right. Thank All you guys right. so much. We'll see you next week or sooner. Bye bye. Bye bye. Well, guys, it's been a blast. Thank you so much for joining us today on our We Love to Hate Everything channel. Please do not forget to hit that subscribe button. Give us a like or even a comment and click on that bell if you want notifications because you never know when we might pop up and go live. Please check out our other two podcasts on Patreon where we snark on even more TV, movies, and pop culture. We got Total Request Podcast. That's patreon.com slash trpod. And We Love to Hate TV patreon.com slash love to hate tv thanks again and we will see you next time